Ponies love to do fun things in big ways. And I mean big, like my friend Minty here. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name is Razaru, and today is a very big day. And I mean big in a charming sort of way, of course. Come on, I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't be late. <laughs> Morning, Razaru. What's new by you? Meet Minty. Great catch, Minty. She saved the green one. Yes, yes, yes. My friend Minty sees the world through green colored glasses. This is my official Ponyville surprise birthday book. Minty is our green machine. She likes green bubble baths, cucumbers on her pizza, and all kinds of green candy. On her birthday, while we slept, she painted the castle <laughs> green, of course. Hey, I'm on my way to the cafe. You want to come along? Yes, 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 I do. I can get ideas on what to do for Kimono's birthday. Again? Well, that's how birthdays are. They come around once a year on the same day. Yes, yes, yes. But this year is going to be different. This year, we're finally going to surprise her. I don't believe it. You're actually going to surprise Kimono? Good luck. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Want to play? Chocolate chip checkers, sure. Ahem. <clears throat> Look at Sweetberry. Wouldn't it be grand if each and every day we could have a party? We could meet here, we could meet there. Psst, Why, Sweetberry, I wouldn't do... As long as ponies have been Sweet. around, there's always been fun. Fun rides, fun games, and that. <gasps> mm. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes! <sighs> Thanks, Raz. <gasps> is that your birthday book? Yes, 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 it is. It's time for another birthday. <laughs> I need every pony's help. This one is gonna be a toughie. But your parties are always so wonderful. We love to be around Wisteria. And Wisteria loves to be around flowers. Even at her birthday picnic, she picked wild flowers. Then a bee picked her nose. No, that didn't come out right. A bee landed on her nose. Luckily, the bee just wanted her flower, which Wisteria was happy to hand over. So, Razaru, who is the lucky pony? Yeah, I wonder who. I know it's not me. My birthday was last Who is it? I don't see yours. It's Kimono's birthday. Oh, no! Kimono! Yes, yes, yes! We have never been able to surprise Kimono. Well, she is the wisest pony in the land. Maybe that's why we've never been able to surprise her. Kimono is smart. How about we surprise her with a book? Kimono is also a real treasure. Maybe a bauble or a jewel. We could replace the very, very special charm bracelet she lost. A new charm bracelet to replace the very, very special one she lost. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's great idea. That's great idea. Yeah. I got it. I'm going to make Kimono a charm bracelet that's green. Green? green. Have you all seen the sun today? It's absolutely yellow. Sunny Days loves to surf, ski, and play ball. On her birthday, she did more pony somersaults than any of us while drinking lemonade. Yes, 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 that's fun in the sun. 
<laughs> then let's go play. Just lead the way, Sunday. <clears throat> Minty, you should do something about that cough, Raz. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <gasps> I got it! Sunny, why don't you help me make a new green charm bracelet for kimono? Mince, you can do that without breaking a sweat. So what if I also made a charm bracelet? Out of sunbeams. Two charm bracelets? Let's make it a trio. Mine will be made from sweet-smelling flowers. <sighs> flower? Did I hear her say flower? <laughs> Not that kind of flower, Sweetberry. Ah, uh, our sweet Sweetberry. Sweetberry's favorite thing is to make sweet treats. <laughs> from flower, of course. Unfortunately, they aren't always yummy. Like the one and only time she let Minty help and they created a blueberry broccoli pie. <laughs> you know Minty. It had to be green, of course. This tasty treat is supreme. Which rhymes with green. Of course, everything I make is supreme. Which is why my charm bracelet will be made of berries that look good enough to eat. Sweet! Four charm bracelets? Um, this complicates things a bit. Four bracelets, that's all? I say Kimono needs a fifth bracelet. Cotton Candy is our official storyteller. And she runs the cleverly named Cotton Candy Cafe. Our birthday present to her was easy. We just listened to her talk all day long. Five bracelets? Big deal. Why not 50? Or 500? Or 5,000 bracelets? She's joking, right? Someone tell me she's joking. Sparkleworks is always amazing. A bit glitzy, but always amazing. On her birthday, she coated the entire town with glitter. Oh, it was beautiful, but what a mess. I'm still shaking glitter out of my hair. Okay, so 5,000 is too many. But six charm bracelets will be spectacular! Hello, my darlings. Introducing the one, the only, Rainbow Dash. Yes, yes, yes! Rainbow Dash does everything in a big, big, big way. On her birthday, she announced the arrival of a new rainbow. We all waited for it to appear, but instead she came to the party with a rainbow wrapped around her head like a ribbon. What is this I'm hearing about making charm bracelets for Kimono's birthday, darlings? Because if it's about anything, it's about rainbows, darlings. Rainbows! Seven bracelets? I need to sit down. This is Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie knows a lot about a lot of things. Like on her birthday, we all got a lesson in how to properly blow up and tie off a balloon. A good tip. But since we already knew how, we pretended we didn't. After all, it was her birthday. You know, I've been thinking. Eight charm bracelets are... Well, it's just a lot of charm bracelets. Eight? I, I was just getting used to seven. Well, when you add my balloon charm bracelet to me, that adds up to eight. And if Kimono gets eight bracelets, well... Which one is she gonna wear first? Well, oh, she'll wear my bracelet. No, darling, she'll pick mine. Oh, she'll wear mine. See? We need to nip it on the butt. But, darlings, she should wear all eight bracelets at once. Pinky's right. But what do we do about it? What we always do when we're stumped. Go play? Later. Right now, we have to go ask the wisest pony in the land. Ah, oh, perfecto! Perfecto, darling. Yeah! <laughs> I hate to spoil the fun, but Kimono is the wisest pony in the land. Oh, no. Oh. Kimono. One of us has to go talk to her. Absolutely. That pony has to be clever. <laughs> Clearly. Very clever. She has to get our problem solved without telling Kimono why we need to know. And she has to figure out a way to get Kimono to the castle on time for her big birthday celebration. Oh, I've got it! Oh, one of you needs to come forward and volunteer! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, so let's... 
Let's say every pony wants to make her own, uh, welcome sign. Yeah, yeah, that's right, a welcome sign. Mine being green, of course. Of course. Um, <laughs> of course. And so, what if the eight ponies made these great welcome signs? Which sign would you wear? I mean, a reed first. Hmm, interesting question, Minty. Confusing, but interesting. This is Kimono, the wisest pony in the land. Kimono is the keeper of all precious pony legend and lore. She is, of course, very smart. And up until now, very hard to surprise. What if all the ponies work together on one welcome sign, each adding her own special touch? <gasps> oh, I get it. I'm glad. I'm not sure I do. Kimono, it would be a big help if you saw the signs for yourself. If it's that important to you, my friend, I'll go back into town with you. Perfecto! I mean, no, don't move. Well, of course you can move. But, um, stay here until I pick you up right at six tomorrow night. <laughs> I won't move a muscle. No, no, move a muscle. Just don't move it from here. <sighs> this is why I live out of town. <laughs> Okay, I have it all here in green and white. I didn't understand Kimono at first, of course. I mean, who understands her at first? <laughs> Unity often makes tasks easier to conquer. <laughs> who understands that? <laughs> we give Kimono one charm bracelet instead of eight? See, I didn't get it either. But then I did. We give Kimono one charm bracelet instead of eight. I can do one. One is good. Just one. But darling, all our ideas are so wonderful, especially the rainbows. How do we decide? We don't have to. <gasps> one bracelet, but with one charm from each of us. Remember I told you, ponies love to do fun things in big ways. And I mean big. Yes, yes, yes. Just wait till you see. Wisteria, please just pick a flower. A nice little itty-bitty, delicate flower. It's not that simple. The iris is so blue. The rose is so sweet. The carnation is long-lasting. Can you come back later? All right, but remember, it's a charm bracelet. She's gonna wear it, not grow it. Please, Raz, darling, watch where you are stepping. You know how delicate a rainbow can be. Yes, 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 I know. But aren't these a little large for charms? Have you seen Wisteria's flowers? My rainbow has to match, darling. What was I thinking? So, when will you be ready? Oh, perfection is never ready, darling. It just happens. <sighs> uh, Sunny, Sparkle, I'm thinking those might be just a tad big for a charm bracelet. We thought so, too. But then we saw Wisteria and Rainbow's charms. We wanted ours to be totally awesome, too. Just look at that shine. <gasps> Sunny, you have blotches all over your face. I'm not Sunny Days. What do you think of my charm, Raz? It's too big. What? <sighs> Maybe Minty's charm is just the right size. <sighs> or not. It isn't easy. I'll say, no one can decide, and the charms are all too big. 
We're talking huge, enormous, humongous. <gasps> I've got it! Candy canes! Green and white candy canes! Not real, of course. Yes, yes, yes! Uh, no, no, no! Uh, Minty, what are we gonna do with eight giant charms that are not gonna be done on time for the celebration? Uh, define giant. Well, as I always say, a giant problem needs some fast thinking. Come on, everyone! Minty went to get kimono. They'll be here any second. Working on your flying skills. Ooh. Thanks! So, here we are. We are. Now, why don't you show me that sign? You know about the sign? Oh, that sign! You got it! Come up with something that is over Kimono's head. So, what do you do with eight giant charms? Yes, yes, yes. You decorate the castle, of course. My, oh my. Magical. Lovely. Colorful, darling. Awesome. Spectacular. Surprised. Oh, my dear, dear friends. We surprised her! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> this is truly wonderful. And knowing you shared something you all love makes it a very, very special charm bracelet. I will cherish it and your friendship forever. Yes, yes, yes! It was a charming and big birthday after all. <laughs>
Wishes? What you doing? Oh, hi, Twinkle Twirl. I'm just wishing for something to wish for. Oh, Tommy, you know what I mean. I do. Well, I could use one of your extra special wishes today. Sure. How can I help? Well, I I'm sort of stuck. I don't really know what to do. I still don't have an idea for our extra special dance number for the extra special friendship ball tonight. Okay, no problem. One extra special wish coming up. I wish, I wish, I wish for Twinkle Twirl to come up with an extra special idea for the friendship ball tonight. Catch a kite and you catch a wish. <laughs> Again? Yeah! And let's ask the others! I wish everyone could feel like they are dancing in the clouds! <gasps> Sky wishes that's it! You just wish the extra special wish for the extra special dance idea! A, A dance, dance in the, the clouds. clouds! Yeah! For tonight's extra special friendship ball! Thanks! You are extra special welcome. I, I mean, I mean you're welcome. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. Well, come on, let's go get the others. We have a lot to do before tonight. Watch this. Let me show you the dance. <laughs> Coaster. 
Okay, now you try it. It looked kind of hard. Show us one more time. We could do it. Just try and remember the roller coaster ride. It's just like dancing in the clouds. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Gem Blossom, Desert Rose, Coconut Cream, follow me. <laughs> Notice I am pointing my toes as I go wee! wish, especially now. Oh, you know what I mean. I do. <laughs> Thanks, Sky Wishes. Sure. What are friends for? Ah! Oops. I better go back to my dancers. Okay, so let's try it again from the top. I wish I could help Twinkle twirl with her dance in the clouds. Catch a kite and you catch a wish! in the cloud so I could help Twinkle Twirl so she can show the others for the friendship ball tonight. Though you know what I mean. <laughs> Consider it done. I am Starcatcher. <gasps> wow. Hi. I'm Sky Wishes. I know. Ready? 
Ready? Ready! Ready? Ready for what? Oh, what are we getting ready for? Your wish. I'm here because you wished an extra, extra special wish. We're going to show you how to dance in the clouds. that is even more magical. Follow me. Wait till I tell Twinkle Twirl. We've heard about you and how magical you are. We thought it was... I mean, we thought it wasn't... <laughs> you know what I mean. I do. But you can tell no one. Not even Twinkle? Not even Twinkle. Only you know. It's why your wishes come true. Chug, chug, chug! <laughs> Starbeam, I think we need to work on your landing. All right, Prasithia, left. Gem Blossom, right. No, darling. Uh, more to the left. More. More. <gasps> Perfect, darling. Perfect. No sign of Sky Wishes yet. Key, I hope she doesn't miss the whole dance and party. She'll be here. She'll be here. I hope. Wow, that was so great. Thanks. You are very welcome. Starcatcher, you've been so nice, and I know you only grant extra, extra special wishes, which you did, but, but since I can't tell Twinkle about you, may I ask for one more wish? Consider it done. The extra, extra special wishes are the ones made for friends.
darlings, that was truly a dance in the clouds. <laughs> darlings, darlings, your attention, please. We've arrived at the time in our festival where we name the pony who has been the best friend ever. For helping us all dance in the clouds, the winner is... Twinkle Twirl yeah! Darlings! Thank you, friends. This has been a magical friendship night. <gasps> Sky wishes you wished an extra special wish for me and helped us all dance in the clouds. You are truly the best friend ever. Wow, I was just wishing for something special to wish for and you wanted an idea and oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. So I want to share this prize with you. Perfect, darling. Perfect. Well, Twinkle, a magical friend once told me that extra, extra special wishes are the ones made for friends. Lovely. I wish this fun would never, ever end. Don't you? Oh, Starcatcher? <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Starcatcher! Oh, where'd you go? my friends in Ponyville could meet you. There's nothing better than meeting new friends. I'd like you to meet my friends, too, but I might need a little time. Pegasus ponies are very shy. Very nice, but very shy. Shy? Oh, well then, we'll just have to do something that's so much fun there'll be nothing to be shy about. Oh, let me think. Uh, how about a party? All ponies love to have parties. And Pegasus ponies love to fly. What if my friends and I plan an extra special pony party and then you and your friends can fly over to join us? Oh, we'll play lots of fun games, we'll fly kites, we'll pick beautiful flowers, oh, and we'll sprinkle glitter and sparkles everywhere. Will there be ice cream? Because if there's one thing Pegasus ponies absolutely love, it's ice cream. Absolutely. Let's make a Pegasus promise. Well, what's a Pegasus promise? Party! Promise! Hey, everybody! 
everybody. I've invited the Pegasus ponies to fly over to Ponyville for an extra special pony party. Ponies that fly? Now really, darling. Really, Rainbow Dash? They can fly high over the rainbows, and they don't need balloons to help them to fly. These ponies have wings. Fly, huh? Are you sure they're not just dancing way up high in the sky, Sky Wishes? Hey, I know! Let's come up with an extra special dance! Sky, are you really sure Pegasus ponies aren't just one of your special wishes? <laughs> yes, Pinkie Pie, I'm sure. My new friend's name is Starcatcher. Oh, she's so wonderful, and she says Pegasus ponies on Butterfly Island like to do all the same things we like to do here in Ponyville. I can see it now. It will be our biggest, best party ever! I'm not sure I believe in flying ponies, but I believe in you, Sky Wishes. And gee, we always have fun when we have a Ponyville party, right? Yeah! I think we party wonderful! Well, I do plan glorious parties, darling. And we should plan on having ice cream. Starcatcher says they love ice cream. Ice cream? Oh, we can do ice cream. Then a party it is. Apple Spice, Bowtie, will you help me come up with an extra special dance step for the party? I want a dance that's really fun. We need to start practicing. Oh my gosh, right now! Well, it's a star. Pinky, can I count on you to help me write a song to welcome our new friends? What are friends for? So much to say, but all the many ways to make a new friend every day. Well, it's a start. Listen, everyone. There's going to be a party. There'll be fun games to play. Dancing, flying kites, picking beautiful flowers, and sprinkling glitter and sparkles everywhere. And the best thing about the party is that it's just a short flight over to Ponyville. Ponyville? Fun. Did she say Ponyville? I, I, I think she said Ponyville, and, and, and that can't be right. No, she meant Butterfly Island, right? <laughs> Did you say something, Thistle Whistle? Believe me, it'll be lots of fun. Well, we have lots of fun right here on Butterfly Island. <laughs> What's Ponyville like? Ponyville is a wonderful place, Coconut Grove. They also have beautiful rainbows. What are the Ponyville ponies like? They're charming and sweet. And you know what, Island Delight? These ponies have no wings. Oh, are you sure? Ponies without wings? I'm sure. They are ponies without wings. They're just a little different than us. I know you'll love my friend Sky Wishes, and she says Ponyville ponies like to do the same things we like to do. But there'll be so many new ponies to meet. Oh, Sky Wishes is so friendly, so I'm sure her friends will be too. They're not as shy as us. It'll be easy to make friends with them. And just think about all the fun we'll have at the party. Well, it does sound like fun. If we all go together, maybe it won't seem far. Eh, so send postcards. I'm staying here. I can't decide. Maybe a rainbow ice cream shake, or snow cones, or an ice cream cake. How about a hot fudge triple decker with six different kinds of ice cream? Or, I know, we should make a banana split. What, what do, do you think, think Triple Treat? Treat? How about a super duper extra special sundae? We can make it very, very, very tall. Maybe even make it sky high. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to Ponyville to see my friend Sky Wishes. Will you do me a favor while I'm there? Sure. What can we do, Starcatcher? Will you talk to the others about coming to the party? You can tell them how nice you think it will be. Can I count on you? Well, we're not really sure we believe in ponies without wings. But we do believe in you, Starcatcher. So, we, we promise, promise to do our very best. Lovely. 
I need to do one last thing before I leave. I'll see you and everyone else when you come to Ponyville. Thank you. Works, it's just what they needed. <laughs> We're still working on it. Uh, how's the friendship song coming along? Oh, it's coming along. It's gonna be great. Listen. A friend, a friend, round every bend. Thanks. Hey, you have wings. Well, well, wait. If you have wings, you must be a Pegasus pony, and you are really real. That means there really are flying ponies. Wow, that's so neat. Hey, Skyler's just look. It's a really real Pegasus pony. I know, Pinkie Pie. This is my new friend, Starcatcher. You're early. What a wonderful surprise. This gives us lots of time to get to know everyone. But, but where are all your friends? They're a little shy. They're just taking their time, but they'll be here. <laughs> I hope. So, are we going? Is that a whistle yes or a whistle no? We, we've never been through the Rainbow Waterfall before. Ever, never, ever. <laughs> Did I say ever? Huh? Okay, then let's go through it together. Come on, I know we can all do it together. Coconut Grove and I gave Starcatcher a real Pegasus promise. And Pegasus promises are... Never broken! I was afraid of that. I was the first to promise Starcatcher, so... I'll go through first. I'll show you it's safe. Then I'll come right back and we'll all go through it together. There's a whole new world out there. So, are we ready? Ready! Ready! Not ready! No way! No how! Not ever! There is nothing that could ever get me to leave... On second thought... <whistles> Ponyville! <whistles> You're right, it's great, wonderful, beautiful, I've seen it, now can we go home? Come on, it looks like a wonderful place. And like Starcatcher said, we can meet lots of new friends. Friends? Won't we all be a lot friendlier with a good night's sleep? I say we meet our new friends in the morning. But... <sighs> Maybe you're right. We can meet our new friends tomorrow. our song before our new friends arrive. We will. How about a friend, 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 a friend, friend, friend. Ooh, how's this? 
I wish I had a new friend! Oh, what is that? Wow! Look, Sky wishes there are so many of them and they're really beautiful. And they all fly! I see, Pinky, but they're flying the wrong way. Oh, hurry! We have to stop them before they leave Ponyville. Hey, you're going the wrong way! Come on, turn around! The party's this way! <sighs> We're never gonna catch flying ponies! Come on, let's go get the balloon at the castle! Pretty super duper, huh? <laughs> it's amazing! It is really perfect. <laughs> well, almost perfect. It's missing one last thing. We have to put a cherry on... The, the top? top? Where could they be? They said they'd be... <laughs> Hello up there. Would you mind? Sky wishes? Pinkie Pie? Followed our ponies home? I think I have a plan. Excellent plan, Starcatcher. If your darling friends are too shy to come to our party, then we'll bring the party to them! Go ahead, we'll catch up! Do you need any help? Uh, no thanks, Wisteria. Oh, we're okay. Whoa, you go ahead. This is just a bit tall. I thought you said you knew how to fly this thing. I do. I got us here. Sorta. I just don't know how to land. Maybe we should check the manual. What manual? Uh, okay. I'll just have to figure out the landing gear without the manual. <laughs> uh, what landing gear? Like they're stuck. I don't know. Maybe we should ask them. Ask them? You mean uh, go over there and uh, talk to them? said they're shy. We have to show them we're here to be friends. Make a new friend every day. Learn a brand new game to play. See the world a whole new way when you make a new friend every day. <laughs> Don't be shy. Yeah. 
Make a chocolate cream parfait. Bake a cake or do ballet. Fun is never far away when you make a new friend every day. <laughs> Come on. This is fun. Yeah. I start singing, you start singing. It's the sweetest song. Two together just sounds better. Come on, sing along. Sing along. Make a new friend every day. Learn a brand new game to play. Happy times are here to stay. When you make a new friend, oh, the fun never ends. When you make a new friend every day. <laughs> Everybody, we made it! Starcatcher, we brought our friends together. We certainly did. It's good to make a new friend every day. <laughs> Sky wishes meet Honolulu. Aloha, Sky wishes. Hi, Honolulu. Another new friend. Come on, let's go tell the others. Ice cream. Thanks, friend. Well, it's a start. <laughs> <laughs> Glowing bright on frosty nights with a wreath on every door. Drifting through the air is the laughter that we share with our dearest friends once more. And that's what I love about Christmas. Hard to believe that it's almost here. That's what I love about Christmas. Have a merry one this year. No flakes in a swirl, every boy and every girl bundled up in red and green. 
tinsel on the tree Every year we all agree It's the grandest one we've seen And that's what I love about Christmas Hard to believe that it's almost here That's what I love about Christmas Have a very merry sparkles and taste like strawberries that would be good but what if we made it silver glitter and blue and blueberry flavored sweet what do you think cotton candy oh why does this happen every year because making the here comes christmas candy cane is a ponyville tradition Whew. well it's not very fun how can you say that I love this part of Christmas. <laughs> you do? Well, here. Huh? I meant making a candy cane. You know, here comes Christmas. Oh, I know Christmas is almost here. That's why I'm trying to untangle the lights. <gasps> Help! Here comes Christmas candy cane. I didn't know you two were starting this. Hmm, what flavor and color are we going to make it this year? Gold and red strawberry or silver glitter and blue blueberry. Hmm, how about pink and mint? Pink, pink and, and mint? Sure, Pinky is the Christmas host this year, right? Add some mint and you have Pinky Mint. Wow, Pinky, Pinky mint, mint it is. is. Hey, we need to get over to the big tree. Pinky is about to make her Christmas speech. <laughs> hey, everybody! Oh, wait for me! How can you smell the sweetness of Christmas without a nose? Perfect! Oh, maybe this head was a smidge to the left? Mm, no. Oh, uh, maybe a scooch to the right. <gasps> Uh-oh. host rainbow dash rainbow 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 we love you rainbow dash we do love you rainbow dash you made last year's christmas so colorful and filled with well rainbows why thank you thank you darlings how darling of you all thank you rainbow dash 
No. <clears throat> Ever since we can remember, we have been making and then placing a very special Here Comes Christmas candy cane at the tippy top of the tallest tree in all of Ponyville. This candy cane is sprinkled with magical glowing dust, so Santa can see through all the clouds and make his way to Ponyville on Christmas Eve. Clouds? Did she say clouds? Why does it have to be clouds? Don't worry, Thistle Whistle. Santa's flying tonight, not you. Yep, that's true, very true. It's Santa's big night. He flies no matter what. He does it all right and not me. My friends, this year's Here Comes Christmas Candy Cane! Whoa! It's the Here Comes Christmas Candy Cane! It's exquisite, darlings! It's the best and the very brightest. Where is it? I can't see it. Um, oh, hey, could I climb on your shoulders? Oh, is that it? Oh, is it here yet? Oh, wait, I think I can smell it, but I can't see it. Oops, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, oh, was that your foot? Oh, sorry. Oh, hi, Mince. Thought that was you. Hey, nice sock. Thanks. They're one of my favorites. <laughs> of course, I do love my green socks the best, or maybe my silver sparkle socks are my favorite, but I really like my rainbow socks and my glow-in-the-dark socks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who am I kidding? I love all my socks. <laughs> but, Mince, you're only wearing one. Oh, well, I had two, of course, but I gave one away for a very special reason. And to make it extra special this year, I have asked one of our new friends to place it on top of the tree. Yeah! Here you go, Starcatcher. Please put this in the place of honor. Consider it done. Beauty, all right? And a perfect fit. And it is done. Ah. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. everybody. Yay! String lights, big goodies, and decorate our trees. Let's get busy. It's almost Christmas. Wow, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to put lights up everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to help decorate. I'm going to make a gingerbread house. I'm going to have the best be ever. I'm going to have the best be ever. Perfect. Oh, maybe it needs to be a smidge to the left. Oh, no. <gasps> Maybe a scooch to the right. Uh, higher? Mm, lower. Thistle! Cloud climber! Star catcher! Anybody with wings? <laughs> I guess it's up to me to fix this. It's got to be just right for Santa to see. Oh, I wish I were a better pilot. Maybe I'll ask Santa for balloon lessons for Christmas. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that looked a little closer than it was. I can do this. I know I can. I just have to give it a little more oomph. Just a little closer. If I could just move the bottom a little... <laughs> Oh, what a pinky mint delicious smell! Santa's sure lucky getting this candy cane. He's gonna love eating every pinky mint bite of this. Oh, I wish I was Santa. <gasps> that was close. <laughs> hurry, we hurry, darling. Are we ready? Hit it!
just perfect. Now it's perfect. <laughs> mm, well, maybe not so perfect. In fact, it's not perfect at all. <laughs> I think maybe just one more little tap, and it'll be... Tell me that didn't happen. Oh, well, maybe it's not as broken as it looks. Oh, no! It's more broken than it looks. What am I gonna do? I broke the special bright, shiny pink, one-of-a-kind, here-comes Christmas candy cane into a bunch of crackly pieces. Oh, no! Santa won't be able to find us without the glow of the candy cane. What am I gonna do? What are we all gonna do? I've ruined Christmas for everybody. This is not good. Not good at all. Hey, Minty! Excited about Christmas? Uh, sure, yeah, of course. Isn't everyone? <laughs> uh, Sparkleworks, can I tell you something? Oh, sorry. No time right now, Minty. I've got to finish all these lamp posts. Can we talk tomorrow? Yeah, we got a jam, Mints. You might try Pinky. Pinky! That's it! I'll tell Pinky. She'll know what to do. After all, she is the Christmas host. <laughs> Too pink? Oh, darling, you can never have too much of something you love. And you love pink. Lots and lots of pink. I might have added a few other colors just to make it more of a rainbow, but as pink goes, this is fabulous, darling. <gasps> Ooh, must run. Have rainbows to hang. Oh, it is fabulous, isn't it? Hey, Pinky! <laughs> Okay, but now that you're here, you can help us hang this banner. I'm just a little busy with the Christmas celebration being tomorrow. But, um, I have something to tell you. You see, I didn't mean it. I mean, I, I was just trying to make it straight. All, all I meant, well, you know, I mean, oh, oh, and then I slipped and I grabbed it instead of, uh, and, you know, it, it kind of slipped and then it just sort of happened. <laughs> Minty, I am sure everything will be okay, no matter what you did. But right now, I still have tons to do. I promise after Christmas we'll sit and talk and laugh and giggle. Can't stop Christmas from coming. Unless you're me. Why did I touch it? Why did I break the Here Comes Christmas candy cane? Now Santa isn't coming tonight. Everyone will be so disappointed. I'm disappointed in me. All my friends are so excited about Christmas. Cotton candies, cocoa, sweet berries, cookies, twinkle twirls, carols. And look at my socks. They're all knotted up, just like Christmas. I've ruined everything for everybody. But how do I unruin it? Thanks to me, Santa isn't coming. Santa? That's it! I will be Santa and give everyone a great present! It'll be Christmas again! Now, what can I give my friends? It has to be wonderful. <laughs> it has to be special. It has to be socks. <laughs> After all, who doesn't love socks? Everybody loves 
Club socks, for Rainbow Dash, for Sparkle Works, and of course, for Pinkie Pie. They can be plain or fancy. They can be short or long. The simple white kind, a glow by night kind, with socks you can't go wrong. A gift as good as candy, a big balloon or blocks. They always come in handy. And nothing says Christmas like a pair of socks. When winter is turning your nosy, a little bit frozy, <laughs> socks will make you feel comfy cozy. Who doesn't love to wear them? No one at all, that's who. The sparkly red kind, the wear to bed kind. It's nice to have a few. I know I do. <laughs> Some folks enjoy new mittens. Or a teddy bear that talks. Or a picture book of kittens. But nothing says Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas! Nothing says Christmas like a pair of socks. <laughs> One of your socks on your head. I was trying to be Santa. Why? What's wrong with the real Santa? Broken. You broke Santa? No, I, I'm so sorry. I ruined everything. I, I, I broke the Here Comes Christmas candy cane. Oh, Minty! Whoa, Minty! It was an accident. I, I just wanted to make it straight. I, I just wanted to make it perfect. Uh, maybe we can glue it together. No, too many little crackly pieces lost in the snow. But without the Here Comes Christmas candy cane, there's no glow. Without the glow, there'll be no Santa in Ponyville. Without Santa, there's no Christmas. Minty, minty, minty. I know, I know, I know. I'm really, really, really sorry. Minty? What's your sock doing on my mantle? Pinky, you're right. I can't be Santa. 
Only Santa can be Santa. And they're just dumb old socks. <laughs> You're giving away your socks? Oh, Minty, please don't cry. We'll think of something. I've got it! You've got it? Nah. You can always... I could, I could! Um, hmm. This is it! I feel it! I feel it, too. <laughs> what am I feeling? Leave town! Leave Ponyville? Forever? Uh, I wasn't feeling that. Um, I'll, I'll miss everyone too much! No, no, no! Leave to go to the North Pole! <sighs> the North Pole? The North Pole? You mean the one where Santa lives? Yep, where Santa lives. Get it? Yep. I will go and talk to Santa and fix it so no one will be disappointed. Thanks, Pinky. You're the best finger I know. Minty, wait! Minty! Oh, dear. Whistle, whistle. I was just, uh, taking a walk and looking at the beautiful balloons, and I thought I would take a little ride. <gasps> I broke the Here Comes Christmas candy cane and ruined Christmas for everybody, so now I'm going to the North Pole and show Santa how to get to Ponyville. But, uh, do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, well, you know how you are in balloons. Just a thought. Okay, so I'm not very good at flying or steering or stopping. I have to do this. Wanna come with me? When you say with you, do you mean fly into the clouds with you? Or do you mean wave goodbye and wish you good luck with you? Come on, it'll be sort of like an adventure. When you say adventure, do you mean fun and games kind of adventure? Or do you mean it's scary out there kind of adventure? It's okay, Thistle. I understand but this is something I have to do. I have to go find Santa Claus to see if I can make up for what I did. Well, Balloon, looks like it's just you and me. North Pole, here we come! Wait, Minty, wait! Oh, I should go with you. Minty, come back! I didn't mean you should go alone! Minty alone in a balloon? That's not good. You're right, Thistle. I need to go after her. It'll be faster if I follow her. Thanks, Thistle. Be careful! There are clouds up there, you know! I know. I see them. But Minty needs me! No. Oh, what are a few fluffy, harmless clouds anyway? Steer away! Steer away! Or maybe not. That was close. But that was closer. Oh no! Okay. Well, this is okay. Uh, I hope the wind knows the way to the North Pole. Oh! What happened? Is that Christmas? Pinky, are you all right? Was that Santa? Was that Santa? What's going on? Oh, dear. Look at the tree, darlings. <gasps> no. Oh, no. What? It was like right this. The Here Comes Christmas candy cane is gone. Minty! Minty! Yoo-hoo! Minty, are you in there? <laughs> no! One piece. It broke. Minty accidentally broke it into a bunch of crackly little pieces. <gasps> How will Santa find us? No Santa? Whoa. What should we do? First, we need to go rescue Minty. 
Rescue her? Oh dear. Is she in danger, darling? She's Menti, isn't she? And she's flying a balloon. Wow! Oh. She felt so bad about what she did. She's on her way in a balloon to the North Pole to find Santa and save Christmas for all of us. Minty? Out there? In a balloon? Alone? Poor darling. Yes! And Thistle Whistle went out in these clouds to find her. Thistle Whistle? Out in these clouds? To find Minty? We've got to go find our friends. They need our help. somewhere to land until the weather clears up. Yeah, I think you're right. Can you lead the way? Consider it done. Follow me.
shop. They make their own sugar? For their own cookie shop. Smells sweet. Oh, look how darling, darlings. This must be where the elves live. And I guess that is where uh, Santa lives. Mm, it's a note. It's from Santa. It's a note. It's a note, darling. Ooh, yep. The big kahuna. That's an important note. It says, Sorry I missed you. Gone giving. Be back in the morning. Merry Christmas. Santa's gone. Oh, I am so sorry. I ruined Christmas for everybody. I didn't mean it. It was an accident. We know, Minty. Oh, darling, of course we do. Too true, Mint. You and Thistle are safe. That's all that matters. Minty, you came all the way up here to give us back our Christmas. You've brought us to the most magical place of all. Well, the North Pole is pretty special. <laughs> I meant in here, your heart. <laughs> Done. I guess I thought if I gave everyone one of my socks. <sighs> Silly, huh? But wait a minute. I didn't. I, I mean, I hung them inside and... <gasps> you gave us your precious socks, darling? How darling. Whoa, Mint. Thanks. And look! There's little goodies inside the socks. <laughs> Thank you, Minty. But I, I didn't. I, I mean... They were just plain old empty socks. Besides, I was at the North Pole, remember? Then who did all this? Santa! How did he find us without the glow of 
the candy cane! Maybe it's not the glow of a special candy cane that brings Santa to Ponyville every year, but the glow of everyone's love and concern for each other. After all, isn't that the true meaning of Christmas? Why, yes, that is the true meaning. Hey, everybody, there's another note from Santa. Um, Minty, the sock idea is a good one. Mind if I use it from now on. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Minty. Merry Christmas to you too, Pinkie Pie. Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> Colored lights glowing bright on minty nights and a bow on every door. Dancing through the air is the laughter that we share with our pony pals once more. And that's what I love about Christmas. Hard to believe that it's almost here. That's what I love about Christmas. Have a merry one this year. Coconutty snow, every pony that I know Bundled up in pink and green Gumdrops on the tree, every year we all agree It's the sweetest <laughs> one we've seen And that's what I love about Christmas Hard to believe that it's almost here That's what I love about Christmas Have a very merry time this year Our twinkle twirls twirling, our pinkie pies whirling, the party has just begun. With star catchers singing and jingle bells ringing, sweet fairy joins in the fun. We're dancing away in our favorite cafe, Rainbow Dash and Minty too. Our voices raise higher than stars up in the sky as we celebrate a dream come true. That's what I love about Christmas. Can you believe that it's finally here? That's what I love about Christmas. It's a merry one this year. Stockings full of treats, carols drifting down the streets, easy smiles and great good cheer. Ponyville's a glow, and it's wonderful to know that our dearest friends are near. That's what I love about Christmas. Have a very to the right. Minty! Huh? <laughs> what?
breath on every door. Drifting through the air is the laughter that we share with our dearest friends once more. And that's what I love about Christmas. Hard to believe that it's almost here. That's what I love about Christmas. Have a merry one this year. Snowflakes in a swirl, every boy and every girl bundled up in red and green. Tinsel on the tree, every year we all agree it's the grandest one we've seen. And that's what I love about Christmas. Hard to believe that it's almost here. That's what I love about Christmas. Have a very merry one this year. Parade to Ponyville. Well, then I better get up and take a shower. Hello, good morning. Well, good morning. Isn't it a beautiful day? I love spring. Me too. Hey, everybody, it's time to go to Ponyville for Wisteria's Garden Club meeting. It's the biggest meeting of the we're gonna hear all the plans for the spring promenade. Who's ready? Oh, I, I am. am. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Just around the corner. Welcome, my friends! Hey! Thank you. As you all know, the Spring Fancy Parade, one of the biggest days of the year, is almost here. And we all know what that means. Flowers, flowers, flowers! <clears throat> that is, if the breezes arrive on time for a change. Gardening takes lots and lots of patience. Uh, oh, let the gardening begin. Devil to shining, mysterious twining. Flowers amaze us in so many ways. Give your garden well, so it will grow. Give your garden well, so it will grow. <laughs> Gardens need seeding and trimming and feeding. Water by twilight on midsummer days. Cover your garden well so it will grow. Cover your garden well so it will grow. Gardens need patience and friendships to do.
It's kind of scary, and it really stinks. <laughs> and they want me to follow them where? Hey! Wait for me! from the flower. It's coming from under the flower. Excuse me, but do you mind terribly? <sighs> Who are you? What? What are you? Is this your flower? How come it's wrapped around your tail? What's your favorite color? Do you like rainbow berry juice or milk with your cookies? Do you play hopscotch? And what is that smell? <laughs> Sorry, breezies are really curious. What are you doing here? Oh, where are we? 
under this lovely old drafty castle. Really? Under our lovely old drafty castle? Your castle? Then you must be waiting for me to kiss you. <laughs> no, wait, that's the girl in the forest with the seven little guys. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Wisteria, and these are my friends Pinkie Pie and Zipsy. What's your name? My name? My name? My word, what is my name? You don't know your name? Well, little flying thing, if you had been asleep for... What time is it? One thousand years. <laughs> oh, I dare say you might forget yours as well. One thousand years? <laughs> what are these odd things on your tail? <laughs> Very ticklish. And those odd things on my tail are called spikes. That's it. Spikes! Spike, Spike, Spikes! Oh, yes, that's it! I'm Spike! I guess when you've been asleep for a thousand years, you think others don't hear you. <laughs> no, dear friends, that's my name. Master Kenbroth Gilspot and Heath Spike. But of course, being commoners, you may address me as Simply Spike the Dragon. Well, Simply Spike the Dragon, <laughs> that's a pretty special smell you've got. Why, thank you ever so much for noticing. Do you like it? It's taken me years to get it perfect. Oh, speaking of perfect, please tell us about your very rare flower. Well, to be correct, it's no longer my very rare flower. Legend holds that the first one to touch it owns it. And my dear, now that you've touched it, it's yours. Mine? Thank you so very much. This is the perfect finishing touch to our spring parade. Oh, my. The parade. We have to get back. Spike, do you know how to get out of here? Why, of course, my dear. Right this way. Have you ever had a bath? Can't say I have, but it sounds delightful. What is it? Good idea, Zipsy. Spike, we want you to meet all of our friends, but first, we'd like to give you the royal treatment. Royal treatment? Royal treatment, indeed. First, first, a uh, swoosh, then, ah! oh, and then, and then, Poof! and then, oh, Zipsy went down after them to give them some light. Oh, she's so brave. But when she didn't come right back, we got worried. She's so brave. I'm ready, Sparkleworks. <gasps> well, if we're all out here, then who's in there? Uh-oh, here comes everyone. Quick, we've got to hide Spike until we can clean him up. It's our darlings, darlings. Oh, oh so we were so worried. We're so glad you're safe. Well, we saw this dark tunnel and we wanted to explore, so we fell down an icky hole into a cave under the moat. Oh, is that why you're sort of stinky? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Sorry about that. It was very dirty and icky down there. So, as you can smell, we're going to the pedal parlor. Yep, baths for everyone. Uh, bye now. Thanks for coming. We'll see you all later. <laughs> P.U. What's that smell? <laughs> well, certainly it's not coming from this lovely flower. Oh, my stars! What? Who? Ah! Oh, Daffy, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I believe so. My sincerest apologies. Please let me introduce myself. I am Master Kenbroth Gilspot and Heath Spike, but you can call me Spike. <laughs> okay. We found him living under the castle in a dark, smelly cave. Smelly? Uh, he's very, very, very old. I am still quite young, merely a thousand or two. Now, if I was a million, I would... And he's not scary at all. <laughs> Daffy, can you help him? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hey, hey, watch the spikes, if you please. Ah! Oh. <gasps> hmm. Well, Daffy, what do you think? Daffy? I love a challenge. I'll do it! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Do it, Daffy! <laughs> You know, it's taken me years and years to create this smell and slime. I hate to get rid of it just like that. Ah! Gosh, Rooney, I don't mean to stare. I'm wondering what the heck is under there. But trust in me, and soon you'll be feeling good. Feeling good! Working on a really awesome scale. We're such a perfect team, no way we'll fail. You'll want to shout, it's all about feeling good inside and out. You got so much beauty inside you. Really? I guess you've never been told. But I could see from the start you got a heart of solid gold. You're still a little doubtful, I can tell. But keep a happy thought and things will gel. Mm. Curl up your smile. In just a while, you'll be feeling, feeling good. good. Feeling good. good. Time to tell your troubles bye bye. bye. They'll blow like bye. tiny bubbles to the sky. Bye. And you'll begin to grin and grin. <laughs> feeling good outside and in. You got so much beauty inside you. Bye. You've never been told nope. that I could see from the start. You got a heart <laughs> of solid gold. Solid gold. Changing at a truly awesome clip. I can't imagine why you wouldn't flip. You'll grin with me. Say go we G. So you will see. I'll give a wee. Take it from me. You're gonna be feeling good, feeling good, feeling good, good as can be. Ah, pretty as a princess. Oh, Spike's done. Ah! Gracious me. My stars! That's more of a don't than a do. Uh, what is wrong with me today? Might those have something to do with our bad spike day? <laughs> well, no wonder. You're not a pony. <laughs> Surprise for you, my friends. I am pleased to introduce Master Kimbooth Gillspot and he Spike. He's a dragon. He was sleeping under the castle. Whoa, too cool. Please call me simply Spike. I am a dragon. <laughs> and those are my ticklish spikes. And as far as I can tell, I've been asleep for about a thousand years, uh, give or take a century. So what woke you up? It was time. I have been awakened to guard, protect, and teach the new princess. And of course, to grant her three wishes. No, wait, I believe that's the other fellow. Ponyville doesn't have a princess! I beg to differ. She's just been sleeping, waiting for Prince Charming. Oh, <laughs> wrong story. Let me see. Ah, yes, there hasn't been a princess because I've been asleep. But now that the new princess has touched the flower... <gasps> touched the flower? Wisteria touched the flower! Quite. And now that she is wearing it in her hair, I am very much awake. <sighs> princess Wisteria. Princess Wisteria. I like it. It suits you. Princess Wisteria, 
I am here to serve you. Huh? Who? <gasps> Me, a princess? <laughs> hey, it's my turn. You promised. <laughs> Wow, a princess in Ponyville. Well, how do I do her do? I mean, what do do I do? Darling, the do you always do. She's still our Wisteria. No, she's now our princess Wisteria. I'm just saying, what do do I do if she wants to do? If I do it wrong, I could be in big doo doo. Uh, uh, how do you do, Princess Wisteria? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Nothing's changed. Oh, I might be a princess now and all, but we still have decorations to put up and, and floats to build and the spring fancy parade to plan. Now, what am I doing here? I've been here. Oh, yes, Princess Wisteria. Where in the dickens have you been? We must begin your training. Training? Oh, no, wait. I can't leave. I can't go into training. We're in the middle of planning our spring parade. Ah, princess, princess, princess. My dear sweet princess Wisteria, princesses do not plan promenades. They ride in them. Really? Oh, no, no. Who's going to be in charge of all the colors and designs? Me! I can do it. Oh, please let me do it. I know just what you had planned. Really, I can take over. Ooh, I'm gonna go home to Breezy Blossom right now and get my stuff. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get along. Oh, no, Zipsy, wait! I can't ask you to... See, it's all taken care of. Now you concentrate on important princess matters. We can't wait any longer. Wait. Waiters? Waitresses? No, no. Oh, I know what's missing. If you're ever going to be a proper princess, you need ladies in waiting. Oh, oh, Princess Wisteria, pick us! Please, please pick us. You won't be sorry. Oh, we can wait forever and ever. We're really good at waiting. Wait and see. Well, if you really don't mind waiting... <laughs> sure, it'll be fun. After you, princess. Princess Wisteria, we think it's great that you're our princess. Really? Really, darling? We think you will be a darling princess. Well, I guess it could be sort of fun. Sure it will! Hail to Princess Wisteria! Princess! 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 <gasps> I just had a squink! I think our little spring promenade just became the extra special princess promenade in honor of our very first princess, Princess Wisteria. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> around here. Sorry, no can do. I have to get my tools and get back to Ponyville. But we need you here. Not as much as they need me there. With Wisteria being the new princess, there's no one to be in charge. So you volunteered, of course. Of course. Besides, your floats look great. this is. No, nothing is special enough for a princess. Tralala, I've been thinking. Actually, I've been waiting to ask you this, but what does a lady in waiting do? Tiddlywink, I think we're doing it. Waiting! Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I mean, I can wait. I mean, I can't wait to start waiting. Now, Princess, moving on to lesson number six. What do your subjects call you? Uh, subjects? What subjects? Everyone who isn't you, of course. But, but the ponies and breezies aren't my subjects. They're my friends. 
princess, princess, princess. A princess doesn't have friends. Oh, how sad. Well, of course you have friends. You just don't have equals. Wisteria, dear, it's time you learned what it means to be a princess. Tiddlywink, tra-la-la. Ladies in waiting, no more waiting. When you're royalty, you must learn to be full of grace in all you do. <laughs> Stand up nice and tall, smile at one and all. Don't forget the world is looking up to you. Hang in there, you'll be fine. This is your time to shine. Show them a princess is in town. On this amazing day, things can be just okay. No time to spare because a princess is in town. We're in the spin, all right, working with all our might. Pull up, excitement, because a princess is in town. With your breezy style and your easy smile, you'll be dazzling. Oh, I hope you know it's true. Head up, now mind your crown. Try not to snag your gown. Show them a princess is in town. Hang in there, you'll be fine. This is your time to shine. Show them a princess is in town. Let's plan to look our best, and surely she'll be impressed. Hard to believe it, but a princess is in town. We know her highness is the grandest of princesses. No small location when a princess is in town. Wave at all in sight, to the left and right. When they curtsy, never laugh or yawn or cry. <laughs> Don't mean to fret and fuss, we hope you will pardon us. It's just that a princess is in town. Heads up, she'll soon be here. We'll give an enormous cheer. Show them. A princess is in town. Show them a princess is in town. This with this? No. Uh, maybe this with this. Yeah. No. Oh. Good morning, Princess Spike. Hey, Tiddlywink Tralala, how are things going? I sure have missed you two, and... All floats present and accounted for, Your Highness. Oh, darling! Your cake float seems to have ruined my rainbow float. Be a darling and move it. I would, darling, but when you bumped me, the top of my cake fell into the middle of your rainbow. I bumped you, darling. Who else? All right, maybe I did, darling, but I might have been able to see where I was going if you weren't building the largest cake in the world to impress the princess. princess. How darling of you to check up on us, sir. Uh... Darling Princess, Highness Darling. Wisteria will do just fine, Rainbow Dash. Oh, looks like you have an uh, interesting float here. Thanks. We're doing it together. Right, Rainbow? What a darling idea. I mean, of course we are, darling. We're calling it our Rainbow Cake Float. Yep, sweet and colorful. How perfectly charming. Carry on. Um, I mean, you go, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny, hello, it's me, Wisteria. Yo, Steria, how's my float looking? Yo, Steria, is that any way to address a princess? It's looking shady, Sunny. Princesses don't water. Green? Greener? 
Whose float is the greenest? Ah. Minty? Pinky? What, what are you, you doing, doing on my float? Your float? Yeah, my pinkest of all pink floats. Ah. What is all that pink doing on my greenest of green floats? It is pretty. But, Minty, there are no green flowers. You made that up. So? I was being creative. Besides, there's no such thing as pink leaves. <laughs> pink! Green! What do you think? Have I captured it? Yes, and you might consider setting it free. I suppose that depends on what it is. It's a pink balloon, of course. Of course. An interesting use of pink added to pink, and of course, there's all the pink. I think the flowers are lovely. <laughs> Princesses don't sniff. <laughs> yes, they smell delightful. Tell us, Pinky, why did you choose these particular flowers? They were pink. <laughs> Best reason of all. Very green, Minty. Thanks, Princess. I mean, your highness-ness. It's almost finished. Just a bit more digging, and I'll have the greenest float ever. Oh, well, then let me help. <gasps> Princesses don't dig in the dirt, your highness. Minty, the princess liked the green half better. Let's make it your float. No, she loved the pink side. It's your float. Green. Pink! You two are being so very clever. We are? Ow! I, I mean, how? By being partners, of course. Of course? I think it's so lovely how good friends have helped one another out. Pink flowers and green leaves, it's wonderful. Good job. Our float does look pretty cool. Thanks, Princess! <laughs> Wisteria! Thanks, Princess Wisteria! Oh, no, just Wisteria. Oh, they don't get it. Princess, 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 I'm afraid it's you who does not get it. Princesses do not sniff, princesses do not water plants, unless it's the royal flower, of course, and princesses never, ever dig in the dirt. And they are your subjects. Of course they are. I wouldn't be friends with me. I'm no fun at all. Friends, everyone? Okay, as Rainbow Dash was saying... Thank you, darling. I think Zipsy has done a darling job, darlings. But I'm afraid the whole promenade is missing something. Wisteria. I heard that. Well, we just mean that the floats are all mixed up and there doesn't seem to be a plan, and the promenade is tomorrow. Mine is falling apart. I say we just ask Wisteria. Yeah, why not? Because she'll say yes. You all know how sweet she is. She would drop everything and help us make the promenade better. Well, isn't that the point, darling? The point is, she's a princess now, and we can't be that selfish. We have to do this ourselves. Pinky's right. We don't want to spoil her fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't right. do that. It's okay, Zipsy. We know you did your best. <sighs> I wish I had never touched this flower. Princess, were you speaking to me? No. <sighs> I was speaking to me. I sincerely hope you were telling you that it was a good princess day, princess. You learned a lot. I did, Spike. I did. No thanks needed. I am here to make your life royal. Are you sure I'm the right princess? How do we know? It's in the princess rule book. I have been reading that book for 1,000 years. Of course, there was that little nap, but I think I know a princess when she steps on me. Oh. <sighs> My dear princess, your friends will be fine. The promenade will be wonderful. Now, get some rest. Princesses need their royal sleep. Oh, no. The pink flower 
flowers need to be on the square float, and the yellow flowers on the round float, and, and then the purple flowers... Where are the purple flowers? Oh, and where are Tiddlywink and Tralala? Ladies, could you get me some rainbow berry juice? Hmm, there's only two of us. Yeah, this doesn't feel right, does it? No, it doesn't. <gasps> My own tiara float and green everywhere. Minty must have helped. Princesses do not sniff, princesses do not water plants, unless it's the royal flower, of course, and princesses never, ever dig in the dirt. But this princess does. Dash will be glad I tied her darling bow, darling. <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> Princess, 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 eat something, you'll feel better. No, wait, I sound like my grandmother. Oh, you don't know what you want right now, you're tired. Ah, now I sound like my mother. No, I don't want food, and I don't want sleep. I want to sniff the flowers. I want to water my plants, I want to dig in the dirt. <gasps> I just want to be me again. <sighs> Fine. Really, I'll find another princess to serve. It may take some time, months, years, even... Uh, uh, mind if I just lay down for a, a couple hundred years? Bye, princess. <sighs> I'll miss you. Miss me? Miss me? What are you talking about? Don't go back to sleep. Spike, don't go back to sleep. If you go back to sleep, it'll be for another thousand years. Laugh, Spike. Spike. Oh, Laugh. Please, come on. Please. Oh, Spike. Oh, come on. Please wake up. Oh, dear. What's the matter with you? Me? What's the matter with you? Everyone wants to be a princess. Even me. Uh, prince. <sighs> But alas, it just wasn't meant to be. Like the flowers in your garden, growing into a princess takes patience. But if you want to quit... Quit? Who said anything about quitting? Spike? Spike? Spike! I'm staying the princess of Ponyville. Ah. Uh. You needn't yell, Princess Wisteria. Lesson number 17, a princess never raises her voice. I was never going to quit, especially after all the wonderful things my friends have done for me. But I do have an idea how I can stay a princess and still be me. I'm all ears. Well, not all ears. That was that wooden boy puppet. Uh, no, it wasn't. He had a rather large thumb, didn't he? I've learned what it means to be a princess. I want you to learn what it means to be a pony. <laughs> well, uh, I can take the poppies and mix them with daisies. Yep, that'll look awful. What am I gonna do? Achoo! There. I 
can't let the princess and everyone else down. Oh, why did I say I would do this? I miss my friends. Tra-la-la, -la, let me help you. No, Tiddlywink, please, let me. <laughs> no, I insist, let me. Need some help? Oh, Wisteria! Uh, I mean, Princess! You were right the first time. Now, let me see what we have here. Well, Zipsy, it's not hopeless. Ladies and Dragon in waiting? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be, well, icky, but it isn't. I love the look of the floats, darling. Everything looks darling, darlings. Well, you might say everything got the royal treatment. Friends, friends, I give you, for the first time ever, Ponyville's Princess Wisteria. Yeah! Darling? I couldn't be better. First of all, I want to thank everyone for making me feel very special as the first ever Princess of Ponyville. Yeah! I hardly know where to start. Being your, uh, princess has shown me just how lucky I am to live in Ponyville and have friends like all of you. Being named a princess is just that. A name. Each and every one of us is a princess in our hearts and in the hearts of our friends. So today, as a princess, I am making each one of you a princess. Princess Pinky. Huh? Who, me? Princess Pinky? Princess Rainbow Dash. Princess Sunny Days. Hip hip hooray! Today's the day. How nice that everyone's a princess. Good gracious me! Tee hee, tee hee! No one is happier than we. We'll spend this day in a princessy way, wearing crowns of gold. Everyone. I'm glad that everyone's a princess. Don't make a fuss. We're still just us. Although we're all so royalty. I solemnly decree to one and all of ye that spring is truly here. We say to every tree and every flower we see. You look divine, my dear. We're glad that everyone's a princess. That's you and you. And yes, it's true. That you are a princess
Mr. Flair, what are we going to do? The magical music show is about to begin and nobody's playing together. Yeah, it's sort of noisy around here. We really need a big idea. Oh, I know. We need one of your pinky squinks. That's it. I'll think a squink. A squink? Yeah, it's Pinky's way of solving a problem. Here she goes. First, Pinky squishes. Hey, that's me! Shh! Watch! Then Pinky winks. And then Pinky thinks.
look so pretty? Not enough pink for me, of course, but since it's a rainbow celebration, I guess that's okay. <laughs> it's so colorful. You did a great job. Thank you, Minty and Pinkie Pie darlings. I just love this time of year when it's all about celebrating rainbows. Rainbows, darlings, rainbows. this time of the year. The annual Princess Rainbow Ceremony is almost here. I'm just so excited. Aren't you so excited? Yes, I am excited. I think I hear the crystal carriage. Let's go! The clouds. What's that? A squeak? Huh? Oh, yuck. Dirty. Muddy. Ready? Ready. Bubble bite! <laughs> <laughs> Princess Rarity? No, we thought she was in here with you. I haven't seen me either. Uh, uh, who said that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again. Well, if I'm late, it isn't my fault, you know. On my way, I had to count all the ribbons and make sure there were enough. Hey, did you know that we have 63 ribbons leading to the castle? Oh, only 63 ribbons? There needs to be 65. Come on, Whistle Wishes, we'd better go. Two ribbons missing? I'll help. Oh, no, you won't. I need you to stay right here with me and learn all about being a rainbow princess. <clears throat> this is a very important day for Unicornia. You were selected from so many <sighs> other young pink unicorns to be this year's princess. You'll join me, Brights Brightly, and Whistle Wishes. Together, we're responsible for making the first rainbow of the season. And as we all know, rainbows bring beauty, magic, and color to everyone and everything all over the land. Rarity, you have to learn how to use this. As a new princess, you have to know the special princess twirl that calls for the crystal carriage. The magic wand can be tricky. Watch me carefully. This is the special twirl that will call your crystal carriage. <sighs> Rarity! There is much to learn. You need to watch and listen. As a new princess, you have a lot of responsibilities. Rarity, are you listening? I'm listening. I'm listening. Good. 
because it's all about the first rainbow of the season. Now, remember what I said, Rarity. Bright Sprightly, Whistle Wishes and I will come together with your pink to make our rainbow. And one more thing, it has to happen here, under our crystal dome. Okay, I'm hungry. We'll eat later. You will see four shooting stars that will cross the sky. The first will be yellow for Bright Sprightly. The second will be blue for Whistle Wishes. The third will be purple for me, Cheerily. And the fourth will be pink for you, Rarity. Before the pink shooting star appears, the first rainbow of the season needs to be in the sky. Now, repeat that back to me. Oh, I wonder if she heard a word I said. Rarity, where are you? <laughs> hey! Wow! celebration anyway. Toothbrush? Check. PJs? Check. Bedtime story? Check. Did you turn out the lights? Yep. We're ready to go. Zipsy, lead the way. No, I think Tiddlywink should lead the way. Certainly not. Trava, let you go first. Together it is. Ponyville, here we We'll wait for the others. Wait for us! We're coming! We're coming! Oh, rainbowy ravishing darlings. Thanks for your help. Now what? I know! While we wait for the breezes, will you tell us another rainbow story? Another one, darlings? Oh, all right. This year, like every year, the first rainbow of the season appears in the sky after three shooting stars and right before the fourth shooting star. And darlings, the first rainbow of the season is the most beautiful rainbow of the year. Pink, the sunrise is pink, and so is a rose, a buttercup glows, a yellowy colors curve in a line, together they make the rainbow shine. Blue, the ocean is blue, the sky is blue too, the sunset is truly purpley colors gather on high, all making a rainbow in the sky. Where do rainbows come from? I'll explain it to you, dear. They are made, well, somewhere. I imagine it's not here. And when The 
sunrise is pink, and so is a rose. A buttercup glows, all yellowy colors curve in a line. Together we make the rainbow shine. Wow, you know so much about rainbows. <laughs> of course I do, darlings. If I don't know all about rainbows, who would? Do you know how they're made? Uh, well, darlings, there are some things we're not supposed to know. Why? I know that as soon as the first rainbow arrives, Sweet Fairy will have a bunch of fresh rainbow berries. Wow, and she'll make rainbow berry shakes and cakes and pies and muffins and cookies and juice. Oh, it's all so delicious. <sighs> Minty, you okay? Whew. My tummy was thinking too much. <laughs> And so is a rose, the morning sun glows, all yellowy colors curve in a line. Together we make the rainbow shine. Blue, the ocean is blue, the sky is blue too, the sunset is truly purpley colors gather on high, all making a rainbow in the sky. We create each rainbow. Has anyone seen Rarity? Come on, let's go look for her in the castle. before we left. Small. No, we're not. We're breezies. And you're awfully big. You think I'm big? Really? Hey, <laughs> where's everybody going? <laughs> well, we're going to Ponyville for the rainbow celebration. Rainbow celebration? Well, that can't happen without me. I make the rainbows. Poor thing. Must have bumped her little, uh, uh, big head. Well, we can't leave her here. That's not the breezy way. Come on, let's help her. <laughs> Whoa! This is even better than my magic wand. Magic wand? She must have really bumped her head. Ooh, pretty yellow. That's Bright's Brightly Star. It's the very first shooting star, you know. And then there's a blue one, and then a purple one, and then pink for me. 
Uh, I, I think. Huh, <sighs> maybe someone in Ponyville can make sense of all this. Sounds like Rainbow Dash could help. Yeah, since she knows everything about rainbows. We've looked everywhere in Unicornia. Rarity isn't hiding this time. She's really gone. We need to put our horns together and come up with a plan. She knows she has to make the rainbow. But she's so young. I don't think she knows where home is. But she has the magic wand, right? Right. But she doesn't know what to do with it. Rarity just likes the way it sparkles. What if she can't find her way back? Then there'll be no rainbows this year. We have to search for Rarity outside of Unicornia. Going out of Unicornia could be exciting. Can I come? Of course. Since we make up the other three parts of the rainbow, it's our responsibility to find her and bring her home. Without Rarity, there won't be a rainbow. Mm. Sweetberry, this cake is extra special delicious. <laughs> Thanks! Hey, Breezies! So great to see you! Ready for the rainbow celebration? Welcome, darlings. Oh, who is your new friend? Oh, uh, hi, I'm Rarity. And I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, my goodness, little darling. You were hungry. Would you like some more? Yes, please. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Uh. Can I have some more? Sorry, there isn't any more. I used up the last of the rainbow berries. You mean no more cakes, pies, muffins, or juice? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of fresh, sweet rainbow berries right after the first rainbow of the season. <gasps> Uh-oh. I haven't made the rainbow yet. No oh, way. You can make the rainbow? I'm from Unicornia. I'm a princess. Oh, what are those? Roller skates. You want to try them? That's unicorn fun. I don't think that's such a good idea. <gasps> hey, look at me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I always plan to be purely perfect time and again. It's my goal. <laughs> Got to admit, I'm not always perfect. Please, don't you dare tell a soul. How many rules do I never break? I think the answer's none. I try and I try, but I can't deny. Basically, I just want to have fun! <laughs> Gee, it's a blast when you go exploring! Hard not to learn something new! <laughs> really, it's not that I think it's boring. Doing what they say I should do. Like, for instance, watch where you step, never rock the boat! Think smart and walk, don't run. I try and I try, but I can't deny that basically I just want to have fun! When you're really rolling, well, of course it can be hard to stop or bouncing like a rubber ball or spinning like a top. But if I land in trouble, it's never all that bad. And every new adventure is the best I ever had. As a baby unicorn, I'd always dream that I could fly, lift up into the air and travel right into the sky. 
trying, cause wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Flying would be funner than most anything could be. <laughs> I always plan to be purely perfect time and again. It's my goal! <laughs> Got to admit, I'm not always perfect. Please, don't you dare tell a soul. <laughs> How many rules do I never break? I think the answer is none. I try and I try, but I can't deny the truth is that I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again. Again? <sighs> well, you know that wasn't my fault, right? See this wheelie thing? It just rolled so fast, and then I was in the cart. Well, um, I... I want to go home. How do I get back to Unicornia? We don't know. Believe me, darling, if I knew where Unicornia was, I'd surely tell you right now. But we do know someone who absolutely knows everything about everything. Spike! Darling? Darling? Spike? Yes? <gasps> I never get tired of that. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you, my friends? We have a visitor in Ponyville who needs your help. Rarity, where are you? Hiding. Come on out. We want you to meet Spike. What's a Spike? I beg your pardon, whoever you are. I am Kenbroth Gilspot and Heathspike, and come from a long line of royal dragons. Rarity, Spike is our friend, and he can help you find your way home. Oh, okay. My, my, a little unicorn. Wow, so you're a dragon? And you're a long way from home. You know where Unicornia is? Yes. No. Oh, I used to. I think it was over the hill and through the woods to Unicornia we go. Uh, no, that's not it. Maybe it was down in a meadow in an itty-bitty pool. Uh, nah, no. Now, that's really not it. Oh, let me check my book. Ah, oh, here it is. I'm going home! I'm going home! All right, now, who is doing that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You? You're doing that? Me? Your magic wand. Wow, does she really have a magic wand? I told you. A magic wand? Does the wand have something to do with rainbows? <laughs> ah, it's all right here. The story of unicorns. The story of you, my dear. And you are very special indeed. Every year, a special unicorn is chosen to learn the rainbow ceremony. And, as we all know, without the first rainbow of the season, there will be no rainbows. <gasps> it's not my fault. All I did was twirl the wand, like this. <gasps> Darlings, she's gone. <gasps> Where did she go? Huh? <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again. I think not. <laughs> <laughs> My word. Don't worry. I believe I can be of assistance. Wow. Look, there are so many castles. Each castle celebrates something different. One happiness, one friendship, one family, one kindness, one music, one laughter, and one celebrates rainbows. Like this rainbow? Castle in the picture? Precisely. That's my house. I live there, in that castle right there. Crystal Rainbow Castle. All right. Yay! Yay! How do I get there? This is a map. 
Of course, a map! A map is good. Ooh, look! It's the blue shooting star for Whistle Wishes! First yellow, now blue! I, I think that's what Cheerilee said would happen. Are we all ready? We're ready! In a minute, darlings. I'm almost ready. There. Oh, there. Fits perfectly. Bring enough stuff? I believe in being prepared. Are you sure you want to come along? You might get dirty. It's about rainbows, darlings. And if it's about rainbows, it's about Rainbow Dash. <laughs> <laughs> the breezies they flew ahead to look for a place to sleep tonight how great to fly they're probably just resting waiting for us to catch up five six seven eight nine ten ready or not here i come oh. <sighs> <sighs> phew that was close yeah huh <laughs> Spike, are you sure you know where you're going? Oh, yes, the map is very clear. We stay right on course. Right, Rarity? Rarity? Right? <laughs> Gee, it's a shame the others didn't get to taste the honey. The others! Hold on, Minty, hold on! I gotcha! I gotcha! Oh, I don't gotcha! Oh, Spike, look at our poor darlings! Grab hold of my tail, Pinky! Thanks, Rarity! Minty, grab my tail! Don't let go! Don't worry, Pinky, I won't! I have to jump in and save darlings. No, I'll go. Are you okay? Pinky and Rarity, we're on it. The balls! I'm over here! That was fun! Let's do it again! What do you think? <sighs> it's perfect! <sighs> we'll start again early in the morning. We should be able to find her tomorrow. We will find her tomorrow. She can't be far away. We'll find her tomorrow.
Uh, does anyone have an extra pillow, darlings? <laughs> <laughs> sleep in here with you? Of course, I insist. Yeah. Psst, you awake? No. Can I sleep in here with you? Sure. <sighs> oh, cheerily, you have to go to sleep. I will, in a little while. Do you want us to stay up with you? No, I'm okay. You sure? Yes. You need... <sighs> Your rest. Why did I leave her alone with the wand? She wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. This is all Cheerilee's fault. No, it's not. It is my fault. It's all my fault. <laughs> the third shooting star. <gasps> I have to somehow get back to Unicornia right now. Spike? <laughs> I proclaim today, Master Kenbroth Gilspot and Heath Spike Day. Oh no, please no bowing. Oh, okay, go ahead, my loyal subjects. Spike, Spike, Your Majesty! Yes, it is I, the King. What? What? what what's going on? Who's there? Is it morning, darlings? Oh. <gasps> what? It's your hair. Oh, I know. It must be a sight. <gasps> my colors! My rainbow colors are gone! You still have pink. Pink is pretty. For you? But I'm not Pink Dash, darling. I'm Rainbow Dash! Whoa! Now, come on, everyone. Pack! Let's go! Right now! Come on, hurry up! 
Let's move a little faster. We have to find Rarity right now. <sighs> but it's still dark. Wouldn't it be easier to see where we were going in the morning? The fourth shooting star could come at any time. We have to keep going. Is someone there? <gasps> yes? <laughs> I never get tired of that. <laughs> uh, who? What are you? Shirley! <gasps> Where's Brightly? Whistle wishes! Rarity! Where, Where have you been? been? Oh, Breezy Blossom, Ponyville, here, there, and everywhere but Unicornia. I want to go home with you! <clears throat> oh, this is Spike. He's a dragon, and he knows everything about everything, and these are my new friends, and... Hi! I'm Pinkie Pie. I'm Minty. <laughs> I'm Whistle Wishes. And I'm Bright Sprightly. Thanks for taking care of our little princess. I'm not so little anymore. And I know what we have to do. <gasps> you didn't lose the magic wand. Do you remember the princess twirl to call the crystal carriage? I do. Darling, I mean, Princess Darling. Zipsy, you should lead the way. Oh no, I insist. Tiddlywink should lead the way. No, no, no. I think Tralala should lead the way. Together it is. <laughs> <laughs> Star is behind us, darling. Fasten your seatbelts, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy rainbow ride. Unicorn speed! Oh no! Let's get inside and under the dome. Come on, we have to hurry. our chance. No, we haven't. Come on, let's see what we can do. Rarity's right. I'm excited about this. Let's make it happen. Come on, Cheerily. We need to try. Oh, no. What's happening? Nothing is happening. That's it. Now what? Let's do it again. Please... We can't give up. We can make the rainbow. I know it. I failed. This is all my fault. No. It was me. The hiding, playing with the wand, getting lost, falling off the mountain, risking the rainbow colors, not listening. I know that now. Now who's not listening? Oh, 
Princess? <sighs> oh dear! We have a ceremony to perform! Oh, I'm so excited! You know what, Whistle Wishes? Me too!
where it belongs. I'm reading. <gasps> Darling. <laughs> Come on, Rainbow Dash. Hop on. This has been, darlings. I wish all my friends were here.
there's one last thing. P.S. Wish you were here. <gasps> we are, my darling. We are. Oh. Rainbow Dash? <gasps> no kidding. Hi, Rainbow Dash, welcome back. What did you bring us from Unicornia? Why, darling. A rainbow, of course. Whoa. Look at wow. Those yeah. colors are pretty. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Title of Lily Lightly. 
princess of all the twinkles and glows. Uh, thanks. Um, I got, I gotta go now. I mean, um, shine on, everyone, shine on. Uh, okay, gotta go. Bye. Four. Excellent! Where's the map? Uh, I put it next to my socks. Minty, there are no socks here. Oh, that would be silly. Oh, my socks are in my sock drawer back home. Let me get this straight. Back in Ponyville, in your house, in your sock drawer, with your socks, you left the map to Unicornia. Right. Right. Huh. But don't worry, I looked at the map before we left. <laughs> we won't need it! Unicorn, unicorn, turn around! Unicorn, unicorn, jump up and down! <laughs> Lily Lightly, isn't this fun? Yes, this is fun! But fun, let's wait until we're done. <gasps> <Whoa! laughs> oh, okay, gotta go. Um, I gotta go now. I mean, bye. Lily's right, Rarity. <laughs> fun must wait until we're done. Wait, <laughs> why are you giggling? Every now and then, couldn't tell you why. Suddenly, I get the giggles. <laughs> Simply gotta laugh. Or I'm gonna bust. Suddenly I just get the giggles. Tee hee hee, you should try it. Everything is a riot. Feeling pretty good, soon you will be too. When suddenly you get the giggles. Here, let me help. Ow, my hair. Start with a little giggle, then there's a bigger giggle, then you'll be rolling on the floor. Don't be so funny, cause you're giving me a tummy ache. Please, oh please, can't giggle anymore. Every now and then, well, as you can see, suddenly we get the giggles. <laughs> Simply gotta laugh, or we're gonna bust. Suddenly we just get the giggles. Tee you should try it. Everything is a riot. Feeling pretty good, soon you will be too. When suddenly you get the giggles. <laughs> Starts with a Because you're giving me a tummy ache Please, oh please, can't giggle anymore Every now and then, well as you can see Suddenly we get the giggles Simply gotta laugh Oh, what a buzz Suddenly we just get the giggles Tee hee hee, you should try it Everything is a riot Feeling pretty good Soon you will be too But suddenly you get the giggles Like, I know where I'm going. I hope so. Rarity told me to look for the bright lights of Unicornia. Minty, Minty, Minty.
She could be anywhere. <laughs> we could be anywhere. <laughs> Lily! I don't understand why she ran away in the first place. We were just having fun and giggling. Lily likes to have fun, doesn't she? Come to think of it, the only time I've ever seen Lily have fun or giggle is at the Rainbow Lights party. Well, I don't know why. That trick she does with her horn would make me giggle. <laughs> do you think she would teach me how to do it? We have to find her first. Good idea. You lead the way. Bad idea. I don't know the way. Wasn't Lily's horn beautiful? It was hard to stop looking at it. That might be why she ran away. You think we embarrassed her? Well, I think we did. And I also think the only chance we have of Lily ever coming home is to make her feel welcomed. Okay, but how do we do that? As Lily says, shine on, everyone. Shine on. I have an idea. We could go. Everything was going so well. Everyone was getting ready for the party. Then I had to go and giggle. And what's so terrible about giggling? Huh? Hey, I'm over here on the rock. I've been here for quite a while. Why is it that no one ever notices me? Sometimes that's better. Well, that's no fun. Why don't you want to be noticed? Because my horn lights up when I giggle. It happened today in front of everyone. I light up all the time. Well, you're a firefly, and fireflies are supposed to light up. Have you ever heard of a unicorn's horn lighting up? No. Can I see it? No, I don't want to. Why? Isn't it fun to light up? Of course it's fun, but it's also different. I think it's great that you're different. That makes you special. Come on, let's both glow. I'll even start. Will they laugh, these friends of mine? If they see the way I shine. Hard for me Cause I'm different as can be I don't know What they'll think of me When I show them I shine Come on! Shine on! Shine your light With all your might You must shine Shine on! Everything will turn out bright If you shine But isn't it weird to glow? Heck no! Glowing's the coolest! I want to be like everyone. Have the usual kind of fun. Every day in my heart I hope it'll be okay if I shine. And who? Shine on, shine your light. With all your might you must shine.
are lucky to have such a beautiful night to be flying. <laughs> yes, we are. Don't change the subject. I'm getting worried. We should see the lights of Unicornia by now. Uh, don't worry. As soon as we see... <gasps> I told you we didn't have to worry. Minty, where are we? This doesn't look anything like Unicornia. Okay, you're right. Now we can worry. Can you see where we're going? Sure, follow me. It's that way. It's getting dark, Minty. Don't worry, I can see where I'm going. How can you see where you're going? I can't even see you. Ouch! Ouch! Boy, oh, it's hi nice there. to see you. Oh, hi. Hi there. So good to see you. See, Pinky, I told you we were in Unicornia. <laughs> no, not exactly. We don't know where we are. Then what are those lights? What lights? lights? Oh, wow! I bet that's Lily's light. Come on, let's go find her. Who's, Who's Lily? Lily? Hurry, follow us. We'll tell you all about it along the way. Come out. We can see her light. Hi there. That's my light. Very pretty, but the light we saw was much, much brighter. Hmm. That's one of my friends. She's a little shy. Please tell your friend. She doesn't have to be shy with us. And tell her we've been looking for her, so we can tell her how special she is. Huh? You mean different, don't you? No, it's what makes you so special. The way I have fun makes me special. Excuse me? I'm Minty, and I collect socks and I love green. You know, because I'm Minty and all. That makes me special. And I'm Pinkie Pie, and always, absolutely, definitely, positively pink! <laughs> that makes me special! Yes, I guess we have to say We all shine in a different way And that means... Me too? No one shines any brighter
you'll be okay, Lily. Really? seen your beautiful light before, Lily, and we thought maybe we embarrassed you. So we wanted you to know how special we think you are, and we didn't want you to feel different. It's okay. Thanks to all my friends, I've learned that being different also makes me special. Besides, the only way to truly shine is to be yourself. Lily Lightly, you really are the princess of all that twinkles and glows. <gasps> <laughs> I love Story Club! <laughs> Me too! Let's race! Are you three ready for this week's story club? Yep, we're here to hear. <laughs> <laughs> here you read from one of the great books. <laughs> what is it going to be today? Well, now, let's see. Follow me up to the story loft. Oh, the story loft! A 
Okay now, are you ready? Come on everybody, lend your little ears. Gather round, gather round, I promise you my dears. It's the most amazing story you're ever gonna hear. The most amazing story we're ever gonna hear. Wow, the colors! Whoa, wow, the sparkles! Wow! A wonderful story about two ponies who are so much alike, they're almost twins. Really? Two ponies like twins? Wow. <gasps> <laughs> wow, I can't wait. Oh, twins. Yes, just like twins. And you'll never believe what happens to them. Now, where is that book? Ah, Gossamer. Gossamer? Gossamer, I would just love it if you would get me this storybook. Two for the sky. You'll find it under T for two. Pony, there were two friends named Starflight and Heartbright. Two ponies who were so close, they were almost like twins. They hopscotched together, they shared Sundays together. Yes, Starflight and Heartbright were as close as any two pony friends could be. And one day, at the very same time, in the very same way, <laughs> they both wished they had wings so they could fly above the clouds. At first, they watched how others fly. Simple. <laughs> what you doing, Star Flight and Heart Bright? We're wishing and hoping we could take flight. That's silly. We're ponies, and ponies don't fly. I know, but haven't you ever wanted to try? These wings just might do. Lead on, my friend. After you. Starflight and Heartbright try and try again to fly. <laughs> That was a flop. No worries. Back to the shop. But no matter what they did, they couldn't get off the ground. So they stayed up all night building wings and things. Are you steady? Utterly. I'm so ready. <laughs> Talk to those who fly. Butter Butterfly is kind 
is small compared to them, we're really tall. <gasps> oh, no! Not those sweet things. I mean the breezies, the ones with wings. <laughs> So as soon as they could, Starflight and Heartbright traveled to Breezy Blossom to learn how to fly. The Breezies know so many things. I'm sure they'll help us build some wings. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Ah! <gasps> how do you do? Star and Bright, a lovely good day. Tell us, what brings you to the Breezy Way? Well, we have a kind of question. How do you fly? Do you have a suggestion? We're happy to tell what we know. Better yet, let's just show. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the way you fly, it sure looks easy. Tell us how to fly like a Breezy. Dearest friends, we'd love to share how we fly through the air. But as breezies, we could always fly. We really don't know how or why. Oh. After visiting Breezy Blossom, Starflight and Heartbright were no closer to learning how to fly. So they went back to Ponyville for a good night's sleep. Maybe they'll come up with something tomorrow. Flying can't be as hard as it seems. Let's sleep on it and dream our dreams. My friend, good night. My friend, sleep tight. <sighs> I still want to fly high in the sky. Turn off the light and tomorrow we'll try. I wish I could fly. I, I wish, wish I could fly. fly. I wish I could fly. new wings, they decided to take them for a test flight. We leave the ground so easily, float along so breezily. Here we are, you and I, to for the sky. Above the clouds, we are hovering, having fun, discovering what it's like. so much alike, wake up at the exact same time. And to their surprise, they were safe on the ground with no giant wings. It must have been a dream. <laughs> Still want to fly? I, 
I will if you want to try. Well, I will too. Should we pick a spot? Sure. Nah, maybe not. Oh, I'm happy I'm me. How about you? I'm thrilled to be me and all I can do. Once again, they hopscotch together. Once again, they could eat sundaes together. Now we can eat ice cream with ease. Oh, yes, make it a triple, please. Yes, Starflight and Harpright were as close as any two ponies could be. Happy to be friends, just as they be. This book was magical. We shared as friends. We read it loudly, proudly. Still, the fun doesn't end. So you see, it's fun to pretend, but it's better to be yourself in the end. <laughs> Oops, all this rhyming is catching on. It's getting late. Best be gone. <laughs> Thanks for the story, Story Bill. Yeah, it was great and really swell. We're going to the sweet shop. You want to come? Sure. Come on, Gossamer. It'll be fun. After ice cream, let's say we play! Perfect on this sunny day. We won't always talk this way. Will we? Surprise birthday party is an absolutely darling idea, darling. We need balloons. We need cake and flowers and sparkles. Oh, can we get some of those glittery party hats and streamers, too? Oh, and don't forget rainbow, darlings. We need rainbows. I've got it! We'll make everything pink! Pink, pink, and more pink! Positively pink! Pink. I think she said pink. Are you sure you didn't say yellow or lavender or even green? No pink, I said! Oh. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Minty, we get it. Pink. Everything will be pink, pink, and more pink. Positively pink. <laughs> you guys, you got me. <laughs> now remember, everybody, this is a surprise for Pinky. So don't say a word when you see me. <clears throat> see? I told you it was going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> Good morning. Why is everyone here so early? What's up? Ah, sorry. I have to go and check my sock drawer. Minty? Rainbow? What's going on? Uh, oh, well, I, uh, well, it's been great, Pinky. Gotta go. Why is everyone acting so puzzling? Puzzling? Uh, uh, puzzling? <laughs> Who's acting puzzling? No puzzle here. <laughs> but if you want to solve a puzzle, you need to talk to Puzzlement. <laughs> She's great at that. Yep. <sighs> <sighs> Definitely puzzling. Sweetberry's right. I should find puzzlement. She'll figure out what's going on. Life's a blast, quite a treat. Just fantastic, positively pink. How we feel it can be beat. Truly, really, positively oh, pink. Here she comes. Hold the pink. Oh, oh. Uh, puzzlement. <laughs> there you are. Do you know why everyone is 
acting so different today? It's a real puzzle. Why? Mm, why? Who? That's a jolly good question. Thanks. Do you have a jolly good answer? <laughs> Another very good question. A puzzle, really. <laughs> a puzzle. A puzzle, right? Oh, that's it. It's a puzzle hunt. What's a puzzle hunt? Oh, a puzzle hunt is great fun. Everyone gets a list of things they need to find, and the first one that gathers all the things on the list wins. Oh, so that's why everyone was so anxious to leave. They wanted to get started on their list. Huh? Oh, right. That's right. Oh, it's beautiful. And so, 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 so pink. Pinkie Pie will have the best birthday surprise ever. A daisy, a paper clip, cotton candy, a rubber band, picture of a caterpillar. Oh, the first thing on the list is nine rainbow berries. <gasps> hey, I can get them at the sweet shop. Oh, it says fresh rainbow berries. Fresh, as in picked right off the rainbow berry bush. Fresh, you know, growing on the bushes out in the edge of town. Way, way out there near Rainbow Berry Bridge. Okay, let's go. <gasps> what? What, what? But Rainbow Berry Bridge is that way. <gasps> Pinky, look! Wow, what's that? A ladybug? No kidding! I thought it might be on our list. Oh, well. <gasps> so, Pinky, <gasps> as long as I've known you, I've always Oops. wondered why we call you Pinky. Because that's my <gasps> name. <and I'm> <gasps> Oops! Quiet! Wow, that was lucky! We can check the daisy off our list. <laughs> <laughs> Life's a blast, quite a treat, just fantastic, positively pink. How we feel can be beat, truly, really, positively pink. <laughs> One and all, sing this tune, and we'll call it positively pink. still for a picture was tough. Sure glad she agreed to come along instead. We found everything on the list. Come on, Puzzlement. Let's hurry to see if we're the first ones to get back. Huh? Oh, well, what about all the things we've gathered? We need a wheelbarrow to get it back to town. I mean, look at all this. Cotton candy, a paper clip, a caterpillar. <laughs> Pinky? <gasps> I have my checklist! That'll be good enough! No! Pinky, wait! Come back! Please! Pinky, come back! We're not done with the puzzle hunt yet! Oh, it's so beautiful! And pink! <laughs> Wow! 
<laughs> minty, minty, minty. <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Darling, it is your birthday. Minty? Yes, it is. Minty, Minty, Minty. <laughs> you looked at the wrong day. My birthday is tomorrow. Really? Are you sure? You really, really sure? You're sure. I'm really, really sure. But it's okay. I love what you've done with the place. It's absolutely, definitely, positively pink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are we going to do now? That is a puzzle, darling. I've solved it. Since everything is ready, let's celebrate today and tomorrow. It'll be a two-day pinky birthday party. <laughs> two birthdays for me? Wow, thanks, everyone. Now that's a surprise. But, darlings, if we celebrate Pinky's big day today, how do we make her real birthday special tomorrow? <laughs> With more pink. <laughs> of course. How positively pink of you, darling. How positively pink of me, darling. <laughs> 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 find it anywhere. Oh, hello there. Welcome, friends. I am Kenbroke Gillspotten Heatspike. <laughs> I just never get tired of hearing that. As I was saying, I am Kenbroke Gillspotten Heatspike, but you may call me Spike. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I was looking for my how-to book. Perhaps you've seen it. You can't miss it. It's quite large, bright, purple, with sparkly orange jewels all over it. And it says, How To, right on the cover. Oh, it's a very important book. It makes one ever so clever. Right, right. I'll look for my book later. Because today, here on this very stage, there will be songs and sing-alongs. You'll dance and play, meet new friends like me, and visit with all your favorite pony pals. Are you ready to have a jolly good time? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I said, are you ready to have a jolly good time? Brilliant. Okay, now let's tune up our voices. Repeat after me. <clears throat> 
My, 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 my little pony, my little pony. Now, sing with me. My little pony, my little pony. Very good. Now, let's sing it again, even louder. My little pony, my little pony. Oh, <laughs> that was perfect. We're going to have such a good time together. If you feel like singing or dancing or clapping your hands, you go right ahead and do it. Now, I think we're ready to meet our pony friends. Right this way, to Ponyville! <laughs> Sweetberry? Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Sweetberry. Welcome to my sweet shop, where every day I make tons of yummy cookies and cakes for everyone in Ponyville. Oh, goody! It's almost time to open my sweet shop. <laughs> Something smells yummy. I love the smell of freshly baked muffins in the morning. <laughs> What a special way to start our day. Good morning, darling Sweetberry. Thanks, and good day to all of you. It's a beautiful Ponyville morning. I say good morning. You say good morning. We say good morning, Ponyville. This is a day to laugh and play. And so, of course, we will. Sunshine blowing, breezes blowing. What delight.
and love singing with our friends. But where are Rarity, Minty, and Pinkie Pie? <laughs> One, two, three! Hi there, I'm Rarity! Four, five, six! I do lots of tricks! Seven, eight, nine! I hope you'll be friends of mine! <laughs> oh, there are just so many ways to have fun! It's hard to decide what to do first! Should I skip and flip or dance and prance or <laughs> bump and jump? <laughs> what a good time! And it's a rhyme. Hey, that's fun too. Of all the unicorns I know, I have the most fun. <laughs> uh oh. Oh gosh. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Well, it looks like it's gonna be another one of my minty, minty, minty days. Oh, by the way, I'm minty. <laughs> Sometimes all the things around me seem to get in my way, but I still have fun. Uh-huh, I do. I just have to look where I'm going and where I've been. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> when I let my mind wander, I come up with all sorts of ways to spend my day having fun. I love daydreaming. I have to stop doing that. I need to pay attention, because if I don't, I could find myself accidentally sliding, sliding down a rainbow. Now that's fun, and fun is my middle name. Name it. I have bumped into it, fallen over it, or spilled it. Ha! <sighs> Just once, I wish I could go a whole day where nothing gets, gets in my way when I want to have fun. Like this morning, I think I'll jump higher than any unicorn has ever jumped. <laughs> Backwards! <laughs> Ooh, it's that time! I better hurry. Pinkie Pie will be waiting for me. We always share the first muffin of the day. Oh, hello. Good morning. How do you do? <laughs> Good morning, Trellala. How are you? And how are you, Tiddlywink? Great. Nice to see ya. Gee, what do you want to do today, Tiddlywink? Well, I don't know, Tralala. Do you have any fun ideas, Zipsy? Let's ask Pinkie Pie what she thinks. Where is she? In the bathroom, brushing her teeth. You call her out, Tiddlywink. Oh, no, no, no. I think Tralala should call her. <laughs> no, no. I insist. Zipsy, you should call her. Together it is. One, two, three. Pinkie Pie! Well, that didn't work. I know. Maybe we can all call her together. Will you help us call Pinkie? Yeah! Okay. On the count of three, we'll all say Pinkie Pie! Ready? One, two, three. Pinkie Pie! <laughs> Good morning, my little breezy friends. And good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, Pinkie Pie. It's going to be a positively pink day here in Ponyville. I can already tell. You know why? Last night I had the most wonderful dream. Do you ever have dreams? Yeah. Well, in my dream, everything was absolutely and definitely pink. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, everything here is absolutely and definitely pink. Absolutely, definitely, and positively pink! <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Pink always makes me feel bright and sunny inside. I love it! Rise and shine, sing this tune, and the call it positively pink. Smile all day long. I'm positive. 
disappear. just bumped into. I am Kenbroth Gilspot and Heathspike. And you would be? We're the ladybugs, we're the ladybugs, here's our ladybug song. rat tat 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 bop 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 Once we start, it's hard to stop. Twang, 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 a bang, ching, ching, ching. Hear our voices ring. We're the ladybugs. We're the ladybugs. Perhaps you could make yourselves useful and help me look for my how-to book. We'll dilly do. This way, ladybugs. Good morning, Minty. Good morning, Minty, darling. Good morning, Minty. Hi, everybody. Oh, gosh. Sorry I'm late. But you see, I kind of got all tied up in something. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, darling. We're just glad to see you. Yeah, we were just about to plan our fun for today. Do you want to help? Help? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I want to help. I always want to help. How can I help? <laughs> help. Whoa, Minty, you look green. I mean really green. Uh, greener than normally green. <laughs> Thank you. I do feel a little spinny. Good morning, Rarity. Hiya, Rarity. Good morning, darling. Hi, everybody. Where you been, Rarity? Oh, here, there, and everywhere. Having fun like always. Maybe we can find something we can all do. Ooh, like what? Well, let's put our heads together.
sounds great, but now I'm positively puzzled. There are so many ideas. Everything sounds like so much fun. I can't imagine picking one, but I know how to really have a ball. <laughs> if we don't think small, we can do it all. You think so? Yeah. Everything that's on the list, make sure that not a one is missed. It's sounding like a lot, but after all, if we don't think small, we can do it all. to do it once. It's okay, darling. Okay, so I haven't worked it all out yet. But I will. Really, I will. I promise. Promise or not, I still think it's too much. We just have to think of a big idea. If we're going to do it all, we have to think of a really big idea. Big. Really big. Big is in the hugest of huge. Giant, enormous, ginormous. I beg your pardon, Pinkie Pie. You haven't seen my how-to book, have you? Oh, no, Spike. But it sure would come in handy right about now. Sounds troubling. It's double troubling. See, I kind of promised the others that we could bake cookies, cakes, and pies, dress up in boas and bows, make streamers, and ride high in the sky in colorful balloons, roller skate, hopscotch, bounce, dance, and sing happy tunes, and drink tea. What marvelous fun! All in one day! <laughs> Who are they? Oh, oh my, yes. <clears throat> We're the ladybugs, we're the ladybugs, here's our ladybug song. rat tat 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 go pop pot Sounds like you've promised yourself into quite a pickle, Pinky. Oh, don't I know it. But come on, we can come up with something, right? Hmm. I know, a squink! I'll think up a Pinky squink! A squink? What is a squink? Well, I'll show you. Maestro, a little squinking music, please. the answer yet? Not exactly. Maybe there's something wrong with my squinker. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Pinkie Pie. But perhaps this idea is so big, it might take more than just one squink. But what if I only have one squink in me? Hmm. Good point, Pinkie. <gasps> perhaps we could get our friends here to help us out. You think? I do. I'll just bet if we put all our squinks together, we'll figure it out in a wink. That would be wonderful! Will you help me figure out how we can do everything in one day? Okay! Let's get our squinkers going! Squeeze your eyes shut really tight! And then think with all your might! Think of cookies, flowers, and dressing up! Think of dancing, singing, and tea in a cup! When you have an 
idea. Open your eyes and shout, I've got it! Ready, set, swing! Swing, 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 squeeze and sing. Swing, 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 squeeze and sing. Squeeze and sing. Hey, I've got it! Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> I've got it! Brilliant! Help! Now give yourselves a hand! I've got it, Spike! I figured it out! Oh, excellent! Tell us all about it! It's friendship and fun rolled into one! You know what it is, don't you? We're going to have a tea party! In fact, we're going to have the world's biggest tea party! Isn't that absolutely, definitely, positively the most wonderful idea? I knew if you helped me squint, we would come up with an amazing idea. This is my best squint ever! <laughs> It all 
done and then go into Unicornia too? Oh no, impossible. Nothing is impossible when everyone helps out. Sure, together it'll work. I just knew this was going to be a positively pink kind of day. There's so much to do, but we'll do it. We'll make it fun, right? Oh, it'll be fun. I promise. We'll need some invitations. Just leave it up to me. I'll make the invitations pretty as can be. The envelope, the envelope, I'll put them in the envelope. If you need invitations, just leave it up to me. We're going to need some flowers. My roses are in bloom. I'll pick them from my garden to decorate the room. Lovely roses, lovely roses. A bouquet of flowers, just leave it up to me. We'll need something to wear. Pinky, I can help with that. A boa in each color, or maybe a new hat. See them blowing in the breeze, see them blowing in the breeze. A boa in each color, just leave it up to me. Oh, we've got to have some cookies. The cookies I will bake. For something extra special, I'll even make a cake. Yum, 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 yum yummy. Yum, yum, yummy, yum, yum, yum. For yummy cake and cookies, just leave it up to me. Oh, goodness, milk and sugar. Just leave them up to me. Some creamy milk and sugar to sweeten up the tea. Pour it in and stir it up. One lump or two. For creamy milk and sugar, just leave it up to me. <laughs> we finally decided what each of us will do. So now let's make a promise to see that we come through. We promise, we promise, we won't forget our promise. The envelope, the envelope, I'll put them in the envelope. The envelope. and the teapot song. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, me and the teapot song. Thistle Whistle, we can teach you. Everyone, we need you to help us teach the teapot song to Thistle Whistle. Will you help us? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jolly good. Stand up and sing it with us. Ba 
that's it. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Got it, Thistle? Uh, I think so. Okay, try it with us this time. Ready, everyone? Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Oh, I'm not bad. Tip me over and pour me out. What? What? I can't see. What did I do? 
Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Minty, darling. <laughs> oh, I think we have more guests than invitations. Oh, yes. Look around. There are so many darlings to invite, darling. It doesn't matter anyway, since we sort of don't have any stamps. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Squink, Pinky. Squink. Oh, I got it! I got it! The world's biggest tea party needs the world's biggest invitation! Of course, darling. Good idea, Pinky. <laughs> It looks like there's a lot of jolly good fun brewing. You won't want to miss it. This really is going to be the world's biggest tea party. I promise. Everyone, now remember, Pinkie Pie and the others are making plans for the world's biggest tea party. I want all of you to wave your hand if you want to go to a tea party. Now, wave both your hands if you want to go to the world's biggest tea party. <laughs> Fabulous! As you all may know, I have been around for thousands of years, and I've been to many tea parties in my day, so I I like to think that that makes me a tea expert. Now, this is your lucky day. I am going to share my knowledge of tea with all of you, my new friends. Let's practice with our teacups, shall we? All righty. Everyone, find your teacup. Got it? Hold them up. <laughs> Excellent. Now, the first thing you need to do is ever so gently Point your little finger in the air, like this. <laughs> That's your pinky finger, you know. Next, bring your teacup to your lips and take a slight sip, like this. Oh, 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 that was brilliant. Let's try it again. Point your pinky finger up in the air, lift your teacup to your lips and take a sip. <laughs> Absolutely delicious! Oh, hello, ladies. You are just in time to get ready for the tea party. Now, listen closely. <laughs> some tea is green, some tea is black, and nothing could be finer. It started growing years ago, high in the hills of China. China, by the way, is also what we call the cup. And when you lift it to your lips, remember, pinky's up! China, by the way, is also what we call the cup. And when you lift it to your lips, remember, pinky's up! <laughs> Did he say teacups are called China because tea first came from China? I'm not sure. Maybe he said these teacups were made in China. <laughs> China from China! <laughs> Ladies! Explorers traveled miles away across the land and seas Bringing tea from China to a princess Portuguese She wed the king of England, who with his tea did take A little milk and sugar and a tasty bit of cake She wed the king of England, who with his tea did take A little milk and sugar and a tasty bit of cake Cake! I love cake! Me too! Do you think it will be chocolate? No! Are we going to have cake? <laughs> Pardon me, I am just trying to finish this song. We'd rather have cake. <laughs> As you were, ladies. Well, tiddly do. Soon the people everywhere were having tea with cake. And thus a new tradition was about to overtake. As every afternoon they gather friends and family. Like Alice in her wonderland, they'd have a tea party. Every afternoon they gather friends and family. Like Alice in her wonderland, they 
Today we drink it everywhere at home or in the diner. To think this story all began upon a hill in China. Now don't forget that China's also what we call the cup. And when you lift it to your lips, remember pinkies up. Don't forget that China's also what we call the cup. Hey, what about the salsa? And <laughs> when you lift it to your lips, when you lift it to your lips, remember. Now that was terrific. <laughs> I think you are all ready for the world's biggest tea party. Ready? But well, what do we wear to a tea party? We have to wear something very special. Special indeed. We'll all go to so and so's dress shop. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Yes, you're quite right. Just you ladies should go. <laughs> we'll do. -de -do. I'll continue searching for my how-to book. I'm beginning to think it's hiding from me. <laughs> oh, I just can't decide. Do you have anything extra special that will, oh, I don't know, darling, razzle-dazzle me? Razzle-dazzle you? Hmm, that's a tall order. <gasps> what if you try a new color? A new color? Come on, it'll be fun. Really, darling? Yeah! <laughs> Try a new color on for size. Try a new color on for size. See a new you before your eyes. Ooh. Dressing up comes naturally. It's fun to mix and match, you'll see.
gives me a bumping good idea. <laughs> oh, I'm down with this. <laughs> All you ponies gather round. I put a hip hop beat to a disco sound. It's a brand new way to start your style. Ooh, just call me to mix it up. Oh, yes. Bye. yet. Rarity, have you even started, started making those really fun, shiny streamers yet? See, it's kind of important. A Pinkie Pie? I would love to stay, but gotta go. Oh, Rarity just wants to have fun. Check. <laughs> Checklist checked. We better get going and check out what everyone else is doing. <laughs> Don't make it too top-heavy, darling. And don't make it too bottom-heavy. Oh, be careful not to smush my cake. Leave room for the flowers. I hope we packed everything. Oh, <laughs> you know Pinky. She has her promise list, and I'm sure she'll check it again and again and again and again. <laughs> Thanks, sweet berry. No problem, Mince. If Pinky wants to bring one more thing to Unicornia, I don't know where we're gonna put it. <laughs> you don't suppose my book is in the basket, do you? Spike! Spike, darling, we've packed everything just so. Yeah, don't mess it up. <laughs> I usually do. <laughs> Sorry, I was just hoping. <laughs> Maybe it was going to. Hi, Spike! Absolutely not. Not the basket, not the basket. Bye, Spike. Fun talking with you. Rarity, where you been? Having fun like always. How about you? Oh, we're having tons of fun, and you're just in time to pack your streamers into the balloon. Uh, streamers? Oh, yeah, my streamers. Well, see, where are they, Rarity? Well, I always plan to be purely perfect time and again. It's my goal. <laughs> Got to admit, I'm not always perfect. Please, don't you dare tell a soul. How many rules do I never break? I think the answer's none. I try and I try, but I can't deny. Basically, I just want to have fun! <laughs> Gee, it's a blast when you go exploring! Hard not to learn something new. <laughs> really, it's 
not that I think it's boring Doing what they say I should do Like, for instance, watch where you step Never rock the boat Think smart and walk, don't run I try and I try But I can't deny That basically I just wanna have Can be fun when you are doing what you love to do. I made the invitations and had lots of fun, it's true! When I'm arranging flowers, the time just seems to fly! And nothing makes me giggle like a rainbow in the sky. I can dress up all day long, I love it so, but then again, there's nothing quite as fun as when I'm dressing up a friend. And when your friends are with you, then anything is fun. All of us together can do so much more than one. Right here in front of my eyes. Finding that fun is to help each other. What a fantastic surprise! Just share a laugh or a smile with friends, and soon the work is done. So I promise that I will give it a try, because I think that I, yeah, 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 have fun and have fun! <laughs> when we all do it together. Making shiny streamers, that's fun! Check! Darlings, look how high in the sky it's going. Do you all see the balloon? My friends, point to the balloon if you see it, darlings. Oh my, oh my! Oh, my flowers look so lovely floating among the clouds. Oh, it's all so exciting. Well then, let's get going. Rarity! Would you lead the way? You bet! Follow me, everyone! Stand up and march with us! Hip, hip, hooray! It's quite a day! We're on the road to Unicornia! Oh boy, oh boy! I love a parade! The joy, the joy! In just a moment, we'll be there! How long? Side by side, the palace gates open wide! Oh, Something really big. Hip hip hooray! Today's the day we're sipping tea in Unicornia. We'll have a cup, have a cup, say pinkies up, pinkies up, and wish that it would never end. Hip hip hooray! Oh, it's quite a day. Hip hip hooray! Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> Look and see! Well, 
world's biggest tea party. Your house is really pretty, Rarity. Yeah, it's the most amazing castle I have ever seen. Everything looks so absolutely, definitely, positively, perfectly beautiful. I know we could do it. There's only one more thing we need, darlings. Tea for everyone. <laughs> Sugar for me. I'd love some tea, please. Are you ready for some tea? Then say it with me! Tea! 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 tea. Okay, okay. <laughs> I hear ya. Let's get out the teapot and have some tea! <laughs> Who promised to bring the tea and the teapot? I brought the flowers. I brought my darling self, darling. I brought the really fun, shiny streamers, remember? And, 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 and I taught the teapot dance, so, uh, sort of. Ow! Oops! Sorry! Ow! <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry! Me? Was I supposed to bring the teapot? Oh, please don't say it was me. Uh, no, if it was me, you have to tell me it was me. I can take it. Minty, minty, minty! <gasps> I forgot. <gasps> no, not Pinky. Darling, Pinky never forgets anything. Really, Pinky? You forgot? It wasn't me this time? No, it wasn't you, Minty. It was me. I forgot the tea. I can't believe I forgot the tea and teapot. I, I was too busy making sure that everyone was doing what they promised to do that I forgot what I promised to do. Oh, there's not going to be the world's biggest tea party. There's not going to be a tea party at all. I've let my friends down. I know just how Pinky feels. You're sad. Just how you feel It hurts inside I want to hide I know, I know Just how you feel I'm so afraid To admit the mistake that I made I forgot and didn't come through it's all right. We still love you. You do? That's why I'm here to lend an ear and to show I know just how you
though, Pinkie Pie. We can still have a big party. It just won't be a tea party, that's all. Oh, yes, it can still be a lovely party. Of course, Pinkie Darling. We've got the flowers, the cookies, cakes, and pies. My really fun streamers. <laughs> and all our friends. Chapter 1, How to Find the How-To Book. Oh, I do wish I would have found this in Act 1. <laughs> well, gracious me, here it is. We need to recite a poem together, Pinkie Pie. Let's try it. Okay. When, when your party has no tea, say and do this rhyme with me. Smile as you raise your cup, and don't forget, say, Pinkie's up. It didn't work. Odd indeed. Hmm, something's missing. Smile as you raise your cup. <gasps> teacups! We need teacups, Spike! Where can we get teacups? <gasps> Do you know? <laughs> you all have teacups! <gasps> that is positively perfect! Will you help us out? Oh, thanks everyone! We need you to raise your teacups like the poem says. And when we say, don't forget, you say, Pinky's up! Ready? When the party has no tea, say and do this rhyme with me. Smile as you raise your cup, and don't forget, say, Pinky's up! That almost sounded like a teapot. Almost, but it wasn't quite loud enough. Great! Let's try it one more time. We need everyone to wave your teacups high in the air. Okay, here we go! When your party has no tea, say and do this rhyme with me. Smile as you raise your cup, and don't forget, say Pinky's up!
had a terrible daydream. Oh, Pinky, I'm sorry. What about? My party. Everything went absolutely, definitely, positively wrong. Don't worry, Pinky. It was just a daydream. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, you're right. It was just a daydream. What could possibly go wrong? Cookies, punch, decorations, cleaning. I gotta go. I've got a lot to do before I see you all tonight. My cookies? Come in, if you can. <laughs> Hi, Pinky. Are you ready for some help? Anybody getting ready for a party? Is something burning? That was so nice, Sweetie Belle. Thanks. Pinky, you are always so ready to help all of us. It's about time we helped you. I guess I could use some help. Some help? <laughs> okay, let's dig in! It'll be simply dashing. Yeah. <laughs> A little getting ready for the party music. these clothes. Oh, dressing up to get some fun ideas for a dress-up party. Can I look in the mirror? Shh, I'm creating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, look at that hat. It's amazing. Are you sure? Scoopalicious. It's so stylish. What are we waiting for? Let's scoot. <laughs> It's so different. We love it. I want one. Me too. May I put it on? Sure. That's great. Because Rainbow Dash was just about to invite you all to her design your own hat party. Brilliant, Pinky. And the party will end with a... Uh, 
a grand hat fashion show with the winner getting a... a grand prize. That's an absolutely, positively great idea. Yeah, this sounds like such fun. Oh, I see. A fashion show for hats. I have some ideas. Yeah, what colors? What shapes? As part of my party plans, you all get to go through my shop and pick out stuff you need to design your hats. <laughs> a grand hat fashion show party? Why not? It'll be dashing. Will you help? Oh, can I pick the winner? Sure. Oh, I can't wait to see what they all come up with. I want to thank everyone for coming to my party. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the Grand Hat Fashion Show. Hit it, Pinky. <laughs>
then they heard something coming from behind the door. Creak, creak, creak. The door slowly opened. I don't want to be alone. Me either. Is there still room in here for me? <laughs> Those were really good footstep sounds. <laughs> what footstep sounds? I didn't make any footstep sounds. I thought you made those footstep sounds. No, I didn't make those footstep sounds. If we didn't make them, who did? Watching all the things you do. All the things you do. Scootaloo! Huh? What? All the things you do. Oh, I get it. I'll have a running, jumping, hopping, skateboarding, scooter riding, outdoor sports party. Thanks, Pinky! <laughs> You're welcome. What are we waiting for? Let's scoot! <laughs> Uh-oh. 
What are we going to do? Wow, a five-way tie. Uh, hi, everybody. I want to thank everybody for coming to my party. But, see, I, I kind of goofed. I sort of only have one prize for five winners.
that really happen? Uh-huh. So, is everybody up for another karaoke song and dance party? Yeah. Let's get goofy! <laughs> So I'll know whose plate is whose. See you later for cake on your very own plate. Bye. Bye. Thank well, you. Oh, I'm covered in pink paint. Isn't it absolutely, positively wonderful? <laughs> to be so special. <sighs> I'll start. Red, orange, green, blue, purple. Rainbow dash? Um, pinky. I think that's mine. Hmm. Okay. We can do this, Tularula. Yes, we can, Pinky. Carrots, curls of carrots. No, no, ribbons of rainbow berry. 
berries. Lemon. Lots of lemon. No, crispy coconut. Hi, everybody. What are you coloring? Oh, just our favorite ideas for the yummiest cake ever. Oh, so you're getting ready for Sweetie Bells. Ta-da! It's my new cake party. Wow, they all look yummy. You should show them to Sweetie Belle. Oh, dashing idea, Pinky. Yeah, she's been trying and trying to come up with the perfect cake for her party tonight. I don't think she's been out of her kitchen for days. Let's go to the sweet shop to see if we can help. <laughs> Hi, Sweetie Belle. How's the bacon shaking? Not so good. I've been up all night looking through recipes for my... Ta-da! It's my new cake party. I can't find one that's extra special enough. All I have so far is a big, boring bowl of beige batter. Beige? Oh, not as long as I'm here. Ponies? Well... They all look scrumpalicious, but, but, but it's kind of important to follow directions when you bake. Okay, now we wait. Can you taste my rainbow berries? <gasps> can you taste the pink sprinkles? Can you taste the carrot? Can you taste the coconut? I bet you can taste the chocolate chips. I put in tons of chocolate chips. Well, it's different. Yeah! <laughs> Sweetie Belle, we're sorry. We just wanted to help you make an extra special cake for your party tonight. I know. So now we know that following directions is a good thing. And that mixing rainbow berries, chocolate chips, coconut, carrots, pink sprinkles, and lemons all together is not. I have an idea, but I'm going to need lots of help. Disappointed? I think tomorrow we can have your ta-da! It's my new cake party! Because I think today we just had your let's all make and taste and decorate and taste and taste and taste a delicious cake then have a nap because we're so full we can't taste another bite of cake party. <laughs> <laughs> Now look live. 
like a bag? <laughs> sure, Pinky. I mean, sure, uh, popcorn vendor pony. Here you go, enjoy. Cool beans. It's pink. <gasps> Look what I found. Ice cream. What'll it be? Uh -huh. I have Cocoa Pinky Nut, Pinky Berry Swirl, and Tutti Fruity Pinky One scoop of each, please. Attention, attention! Huh? The very first ride on the first wheel is about to begin! Come on, everybody! <laughs> <Let's go! laughs> Ride. That's super nice of you, but that still leaves one, two, three, four, five, six of us. And there are only five seats. Oh no! Don't worry, I'll wait and ride on the second ride with you. You are such a sweetie, sweetie belle. Yeah, I am. Yeah! Now there are five seats and five riders. It's perfect! Except poor Sweetie Belle isn't having any fun. I'm having the most fun! I get to start the Ferris wheel! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having my best day ever! Watching my best friends have their best day ever! Cool and runs all night. I know where it is. Follow 
It's not in here. So where's the next clue? There's only one thing in this room that stays cool and runs all the time, meaning it never shuts off. The refrigerator! It takes two to play on me. Find the last clue under the apple tree. Come on! <laughs> Anybody want to take a break and teeter-totter with me? You'll have to play by yourself, Scootaloo. We need to find the last clue. But you can't play on a teeter-totter by yourself. It takes two. That's it! The clue was on the teeter-totter. I was just keeping it warm for you. You're almost through with this hunt. You'll find Sweetie Belle at the opposite of front. Well, that makes absolutely no sense. Well, let's think. What is the opposite of front? The opposite of front is back. So Sweetie Belle must be out back. Come on! Hooray! You found me! That was so much fun! I'm glad you enjoyed my game. Now the only game I want to play is watch the muffin disappear. Winter Wishes Festival! 
festival. It's time to go! Yeah! Yeah! Busy and things 
go wrong, you make things better with a smile and a giggle. Hey, Pinky! Minty, look out! Ah! Oops. Sorry, Pinky. <laughs> That's okay. But now that you're here, you can help us hang this banner. I'm just a little busy with the Christmas celebration being tomorrow. But, um, I have something to tell you. You see, I didn't mean it. I mean, I, I was just trying to make it straight. Oh, and then I slipped and I grabbed it instead of it. And, you know, it, it kind of slipped and then it just sort of happened. <laughs> Oops, Minty. I am sure everything will be okay, no matter what you did. But right now, I still have tons to do. Oh, Pinky, we love hanging out with you because you're smart and brave. You're always there when we need a helping hand. Look! Pinky! Minty! As you all know, we have lots and lots of parties in Ponyville. And no one loves a party more than you, Pinky. Especially when it's absolutely, positively, definitely pink! Oh, I hear her! Everybody hide! Why? One, two, three! Happy birthday, Pinkie Pie! <gasps> wow! <gasps> Happy birthday to who? Me? Today. It's not your birthday? Oh dear, have we made a mistake? But Pinky, it is your birthday. Minty? Oh, yes, it is. Minty, Minty, Minty. <laughs> you looked at the wrong day. My birthday is tomorrow. Really? Are you sure? You're really, really sure? You're sure. I'm really, really sure. But it's okay. I love what you've done with the place. It's absolutely, definitely, positively pink. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do now? That is a puzzle, isn't it? I've solved it! Since everything is ready, let's celebrate today and tomorrow. It'll be a two-day Pinky birthday party. <laughs> Two birthdays for me? Wow! Thanks, everyone! Now that's a surprise! Making new friends has always been high up on your list, Pinky. So high, I've even seen you go up into the clouds. Yeah. Uh, how's the friendship song coming along? Oh, it's coming along. It's going to be great. Listen. A friend, a friend, round every bend. Whoa, whoa. 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 Thanks. Hey, you have wings. Well, well, wait. If you have wings, you must be a Pegasus pony, and you are really real. That means there really are flying ponies. Wow, that's so neat. Hey, Skywish, just look. It's a really real Pegasus pony. And finally, no one lights up Ponyville like you, Pinky. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
positively, perfectly. Pinky! The one and only Pinkie Pie. Wow, so far I love this day, my day, an absolutely, positively pink day. I must be dreaming. Whoops, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best. No, you are! The very best. Mm. Come on! <laughs> Decorating, we hang on to your every word. Hmm, 
No. Please move it more to the left. More. <gasps> Perfect, Pinky. Perfect. And you're always ready to try something different. <laughs>
what are we gonna do? Star Song left her dancing shoes here for one day and I lose them. You're right! They probably are with my shoes. You remember where I put my shoes? Good idea! Maybe I put them over there. Nope. No shoes in the plant. Oh, I've looked absolutely positively everywhere. Well, not absolutely positively everywhere. Where? Where, old dancing shoes? Where are you? Pinkie Pie, you are not a give up kind of pony. There's still time before a star song gets here. Bye, Pinkie! Or not. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs>
Ponyville is the most magical time of the year. And why is that? Because of the Winter Wishes Festival, of course. I sure wish it would snow. I wish it would, too. Oh, there are lots of holiday traditions in Ponyville. But without a doubt, the most exciting one is... Planning a positively, perfectly pink party! Yay! Picking out a dashing holiday outfit. Trying out a stylish new holiday hairstyle. Hanging holiday decorations and singing holiday songs. Painting a colorful holiday picture. Baking yummy holiday cookies. Practicing my super cool ice skating moves. <laughs> those are exciting traditions, but the most exciting one of all is... Eating those holiday cookies! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's placing Twinkle Wish the Wishing Star on top of the Ever Forever Green Tree. Why is it called the Ever Forever Green Tree? Because, Sweetie Belle, its color is ever so green, silly! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Actually, Scootaloo, it's called the Ever Forever Green Tree because it's always green all year long. Then they ought to call that tree the Never Turns Any Other Color Than Green Tree. <laughs> <laughs> How do they get Twinkle Wish way up there? Whoever wins the ornament making contest... Oh, you remember the ornament making contest from last year, don't you? Oh! No. Well, you were pretty little then. Yeah, but I'm not little no more. You mean you're not little anymore. That too. Me neither. I'm not little at all. Not one little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what you giggling at? You two are too cute, little sister. Yeah, we are. Each pony in Ponyville makes a holiday ornament and hangs it on the Ever Forever Green Tree. And then, the mayor picks out the best one. Oh, yeah, I remember. Sorta. And whoever makes the best ornament gets to put Twinkle Wish on top of the tree at the Winter Wishes Festival. And then... Twinkle Wish grants everyone in Ponyville one holiday wish. I remember that part. Me too. I like that part. Hey, I just had an idea for my ornament. Oh, <laughs> hold it. I only had half an idea. Well, Tularula, I've got way too many ideas. Maybe if we work together, we can turn your half an idea and my too many ideas into one really great idea. Sounds good to me. I'd love to work with you, Pinkie Pie. I love that idea. We can all pair up and work together. Yeah. What do you say, Star Song? Want to work with me on an ornament? <laughs> sure thing, Rainbow Dash. Hey, Sweetie Belle, let's make the winningest ornament together. <gasps> Okie dokie. Let's get busy and make some ornaments. Oh, <laughs> <can't wait>. Dash, <laughs> me too. <laughs> me three. Oh. What about me? No one meant to leave Cheerily out. They were just so excited to start creating their ornaments, they kind of, well, forgot about her. Oh, I have some art supplies, but not enough for all of us. I have lots of pink stuff. I have lots of colorful stuff. I have lots of sparkly stuff. I have lots of uh, stuffy stuff. Stuffy stuff is good stuff. What is stuffy stuff? It's the stuff that I have that used to be part of toys and things, but I don't remember which one, so I keep it in my stuffy stuff drawer. Okay. Hey, let's all gather our supplies and meet at, at my house, since I have all the stuffy stuff. Okay! okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Chira Lee had decided to do the only thing she could do. Guess I'll go ahead and make an ornament all by myself. Working on an art project by yourself can be lots of fun, but not when you know that all your friends are having a great time working on theirs together. This rock, Pinkie Pie? Thanks. You're welcome. I suddenly have the strangest feeling, like we're forgetting something. Maybe I can make something out of this pine cone. Let anyone 
anyone see our winning ornament, Sweetie Belle? They'll copy. Scootaloo, we don't need to copy. Tularula is the most artistic pony in Ponyville. She always wins art contests. Oh, it's gonna be hard to make an ornament that outshines Tularula's. Not if we put more glitter on ours. Let's use this button. It looks like a wheel, and wheels are super cool. Good idea. That's my lucky button. Huh? How is it lucky? It fell off my sweater, and I didn't lose it, which was lucky for me. Cool beans! A lucky button! Let's use lots of different colors on ours, okay, Pinkie Pie? As long as it's predominantly pink. How about if we put a feather or two on ours? Good idea, Star Song. I love those feathers! They're positively oh, yeah. pink delicious. I like ours the best. Me too! I like yours too. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Chirly, let's see your ornament. Chirly? Uh-oh. I knew we were forgetting something. <gasps> we forgot my sister! Well, that looks like a plain old pine cone with a ribbon. Oh, Cheerilee, what was I thinking? We made a bad boo-boo. Hey, is that your ornament, Cheerilee? Yeah, it's not very good, is it? It's a great start. It just needs, um, a little something shiny. And something fluffy. Ooh, that's pretty. I know just the place for it. I love it. And a dash of something colorful. And something positively pinkerific. Oh, here you go. Yes, some more glitter. Don't you want to give Cheerly something from our ornament? Kind of not really. I like our ornament the way it is. Sometimes doing the right thing can be ever so hard to do. Here, Cheerly. You can have something off our winning ornament. That's very nice of you, Scootaloo. Um, I guess I'll have this brown button. Our lucky button. Thanks, everyone. I love it. Oh, this is so exciting. Um, Tularula, what are you doing? Wishing that Chira Lee would win. I think Cheerilee is positively pinkly going to win. I think we're positively pinkly going to win. Whatever that <laughs> means. Cheerilee, your ornament is absolutely the best. Thanks. I love it because all my friends helped me make it. Ponies, may I have your attention, please? I now present to you the judge for today's festivities, Mayor Flutterflutter. I am here. I have arrived. I have reached my destination. <laughs> it is my honor, privilege, good fortune to be the one to decide which ornament best symbolizes, represents, shows off Ponyville's spirit of friendship. <laughs> oh, come on. Look at our ornament already. Shh. Be polite. <laughs> I have had a chance to admire, study, and look at each ornament and I have picked Cheerilee's! <laughs> Congratulations, Cheerilee. I especially love the use of that brown button. <gasps> Told you it was a lucky button. <laughs> Congratulations, Cheerilee. This is going to be the best Winter Wishes Festival ever. Thanks, everyone. I couldn't have done it without your help. Got that right. Scootaloo, cheer up! There's always next year, but next year's like a million years from now. I am here. I have arrived. I am present. <clears throat> Voila! Inside this box is Twinkle Wish, the wishing star. May I see? No. Nada. Negative. This box absolutely must not be opened until tomorrow at sunset when the Winter Wishes Festival begins. How come? Because Twinkle Wish is asleep. She needs every single moment of her cutie sleep in order to have enough magic to grant everyone in Ponyville their wish. 
Do you understand? Yes, I do. Alrighty then. By the honor invested in me by the good ponies of Ponyville, I now present you, Cheerilee, with Twinkle Wish, the wishing star. The fate of the entire festival is in your hands. Okie dokie then. See you later. So long. Sayonara! Ooh, the fox is so Look pretty! Oh, dashingly beautiful fox! I can't see a thing! Me neither! <gasps> I've got an idea! Come on! I sure would like to see Twinkle Wish again. I know, but we can't. You heard the mayor. Too bad, I can barely remember what she looks like. Me neither. But Shirley's right. The girls knew they shouldn't open the box, but that didn't stop them from really, really wanting to. Especially Scootaloo. I want to get a closer look! <laughs> Scootaloo! Yeah, it's a neat box. But I want to see what Twinklewish looks like. One he can't hurt. <gasps> sits at the edge of the valley, and although it's a familiar sight, not much is known about it, because no one has actually been there. The mountain is named for the strange behavior of the weather. It changes suddenly and drastically for no apparent reason, willy-nilly. How do you know all that, Cheerilee? I read a lot. Hello! How's our star? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you, Star Song. I was referring to the wishing star. I trust that Twinkle Wish is safe and sound and unharmed in any way. She's fine. See? Still in the box. Free from harm. Completely in the pink. Safe as a bug in a rug. Sleeping like a baby. Shh. It's heartwarming to see such responsibility, dependability, and accountability. Ta-ta! I know. We should tell the truth. We will! When? After we get Twinkle Wish back. Look, just because a humongous dragon that we've never seen before snatched her and took her to a mountain nobody has ever been to before doesn't mean she's gone forever. It doesn't? No. 
Are we going to let that dragon get away with taking Twinkle Wish? No! Are we just going to sit here and mope, or are we going to do something about it? We're going to do something about it! But what? We're going to find that dragon and get Twinkle Wish back! Yeah! We can do it! We must do it! We will do it! But the mountain is super far away! How can we make it there and back in time for the festival? <gasps> I know! We can fly there! In my hot air balloon! Yeah! <laughs> Everyone got ready for the journey and then met up at Pinkie Pie's house. <gasps> Rainbow Dash! What in the world? I did a little itty bitty bit of packing. All right, all right. But I have to bring something. Take this. Fine. Make room for us! I've made all the room I can. I'm afraid this balloon is only big enough for four. You two are going to have to stay here. That's not fair. You did this on purpose because you're mad at me. No, I didn't. But even if I did, who could blame me? I could. I'm sure nobody did anything on purpose to get anyone mad, right? Right. Scootaloo, it's a good thing you're staying here because we really need you to do something very important. Oh, yeah? What? <gasps> we need you and Sweetie Belle to take special care of Twinkle Wish's box until we come home. Can you do that? Take care of it how? I know. We'll take care of it so no one knows Twinkle Wish is missing. Especially the mayor. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Balloon in the air! It's time to get moving. It's time to get going. A trip is always... something fun to do while we wait. I don't feel like it. You don't feel like having fun? Are you getting sick or something? No. I just wish Cheerilee wouldn't be mad at me anymore. I know. <gasps> hmm. Want a cookie? I made them myself. They're yummy oatmeal raisin apple care walnut upside down surprises. Oh, uh, no thanks, Sweetie Belle. Okay. Can I have a cookie? Sure. Hello, hello, hello! Where's Cheerilee? Uh, 
she's gone ballooning? What? She means she, she's gone to get balloons for... for... The festival? She's getting decorations for the festival? If you say so. So we're watching the box for her. <laughs> we didn't open it and let a crazy old dragon steal the wishing star or anything. Want a cookie? Oh, no. Thank you. I'm watching my figure. Watching it do what? Hmm. Hmm. That went well. I can see Willy Nilly Mountain! It sure is getting windy! for the night. What? We can't stop! The festival is tomorrow! I have to find Twinkle Wish! There's no way we're going to be able to find anything in a little while. It's going to be too dark soon. Dark? Tula Rula suddenly felt very nervous. She wanted to tell her friends why, but she was kind of embarrassed. Um, there's something I don't think I've ever told you. Uh, well, what is it? You can tell us. We're your friends. I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, that's okay. Scootaloo is too, sometimes. What does she do at night? She uses a night light. Me too. I can't sleep without one. Oh, I wish I had a night light. Aha! Do you do that, Pinkie Pie? I speak pink. As the ponies drifted off to sleep, Cheerilee couldn't help but wonder what was happening back in Ponyville. Was Scootaloo using her nightlight? Did she still think that Cheerilee was mad at her? the weather changes willy-nilly. Here it is! Here's the cave! Do you think the dragon is in this cave? 
Who dares disturb the dragon? Yep, I kind of think so. Oh, the festival starts soon. Where's Cheerilee? Where's the wishing star? Could things get any worse? Hello? <gasps> Hi! Howdy! Yep, they just did. What are we gonna do? Stall her while I think of something. Hello? Uh, it sure is a, um, scrump delicious day for a festival, isn't it? What's going on? Where's Cheerilee? Hello? Oh, Mayor Flitter Flutter. I'm here. I'm just, uh, doing a beauty treatment to be extra pretty for the ceremony. But I'm here to take you there. You're not ready, all set, or rare to go. Actually, um, I'll meet you there. I have my own, uh, super duper plan for my entrance at the festival. It'll be like nothing you've ever seen before. Bye! <laughs> Something very funny, odd, and goofy is going on here. I just wish I knew what it was. Hi! It's Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Star Song, Cheerilee, and Tularula here about the wishing star! The star? Why didn't you say so? Come in, come in! What is this? Whoa! Whoa. There's Twinkle Wish! Look! Oh no, she's awake. She looks so tired. <laughs> Is it nap time yet? Not until you tell me what you think of this. Love it, hate it, hold nothing back. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it is a snooze fest. If Twinkle Wish doesn't get enough cutie sleep, she won't have enough magic to grant the holiday wishes. Uh, hello? Hello, come in! Did I scare you with my who goes there routine? I didn't mean to scare you. I've been trying to work on my, you know, greeting skills. Anyway, come in. I'm sorry the place is such a mess. But I don't get many visitors. Well, any visitors. Actually, you're my first. Who are you? Oh, I'm Whimsy Weatherby. Come in, come in, have a seat. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Uh, are you warm enough? <gasps> uh, too warm? <gasps> <laughs> too cold? Oh, wow! You're the reason the weather changes really nilly <laughs> Well, it isn't the weather, man. Well, this is all very interesting, but, um... We're actually here about that star. Woohoo! My plan worked! Plan? What plan? <laughs> well, I've been sitting up here on this mountain for who knows how long, all by my lonesome, not a friend in sight. Then one day I said to myself, I wish I had some friends. But I had to ask myself, Whimsy Weatherby, why don't you have any friends? You have a winning personality. You're a dazzling dresser. And you have the biggest, bluest eyes I've ever seen. And then I answered myself. Toys! I didn't have any friends because I didn't have any really fun, fantastic toys. So I got one. This adorable little star. Very cute. I've had a pickle of a time keeping it awake, though. I think it needs batteries. Anywho, I got a new toy, and voila, you're here. I've got friends. First of all, that star is not a toy. Its name is Twinkle Wish. And, well, we've only just met. We're not exactly friends yet. It's not? I mean, we're not? There's a lot more to making friends. All of the stuff. Too. Does that make us friends? It's a start! How I adore painting my nails! Me, 
I prefer painting a star. Still you will find we're side by side wherever we are. Glad we are different, that's what makes a friend. Once you told me you're a little scared of the dark. I told you I can be afraid of it too. sing in the bathtub. But there's one thing that friends never, ever do, and that's... Sing on stage in a bathtub? No. Friends never take each other's stuff. I'm responsible for that star, and I need to take it back to Ponyville with me. A friend would give it back to her. Whimsy thought about it, and inside she knew that giving the star back to Cheerilee was the right thing to do. But she really liked Twinkle Wish a lot. But I like the star. And if I give her back, you'll never come visit me again, and I won't have any friends. We'll come back. Or better yet, you can come with us to the Winter Wishes Festival. Oh, good idea. Oh, you're going to love it. Oh, yeah. 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 What a great idea. Lots of fun. <laughs> oh, I wasn't born yesterday, you know. I can smell a trick when I sniff one. You're trying to trick me into giving you that star. Well, forget it, all right? If you won't be my friends unless I give the star back, then I'll wait for someone else to come see the star. There are other ponies in Ponyville, you know. Whimsy. Just go. Oh, I wish there was some way Twinkle Wish would be at the festival tonight and that everything would be all right. But I guess it's hopeless now. I'm sorry, Cheerly. We tried. I know. Thanks. What are we going to do now? What I should have done in the first place. Tell the truth. <laughs> want to see the star. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I'm sure Cheerilee will be here momentarily, presently, and uh, uh, very soon. I'm here! have the wishing star. <gasps> First of all, I want to apologize to you. I lied. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're all really sorry. Too. Really? The truth is, I didn't watch it carefully enough, and, and something happened, and Twinkle Wish fell out of the box. Oh, I feel dizzy, woozy, faint. <gasps> well, you better sit down. It gets worse. Oh. Whimsy Weatherby the dragon took Twinkle Wish to Willy Nilly Mountain, and now she won't give her back. Oh. I'm so sorry, everyone. I ruined everything. And I'm sorry, Mayor Flutter Flutter, for lying to you, too. It was all my fault. I was the one who dropped the box, and then Twinkle Wish woke up and got out. I'm sorry, Cheerily. I don't blame you, Scootaloo. It was an accident. I should have watched the box more carefully. You're not mad at me anymore? No, not at all. Good. I don't like being mad at. Well, even though you spoiled, bungled, and completely messed up the festival, and lied to me, 
I'm proud of you for being honest and telling the truth. Hey, everybody, why the long faces? I weighed the pros and cons of what you said, and I decided I'd much rather have friends like you than keep Twinkle Wish, who is very adorable, but doesn't belong to me. She belongs to you and all of Ponyville. Oh, my. Twinkle Wish looks awfully sleepy. Has she been awake this whole time? Unfortunately, no. This little cutie keeps falling asleep. But no worries. I wake her every time. Oh, no. I think we better hurry and put Twinkle Wish on top of the tree. Why don't you put her on top of the tree, Scootaloo? After all, it was the brown button that you gave me that made my ornament really special. Wow! Are you sure? Cool beans! Thanks! Whimsy, can you help? Wow! I'd love to! Told you the button was lucky. There you go, Twinkle Wish. Now it's time. It's time. Okay. It is time. Yes, it is time. Time it is for the wishing rhyme. Make a wish when you close your eyes and you just have to... Everyone, make a wish! Quickly! ASAP! Now! Before she falls asleep! Everyone was nervous. Did Twinkle Wish get enough sleep? Would she be able to grant all the holiday wishes? <sighs> Hold it! We don't need to make wishes! Our wishes already came true! They did? You wished Cheerilee would win the contest, right? And she did! And I wished Cheerilee wouldn't be mad at me anymore. And I'm not. And I wished I knew what was going on with Cheerilee. And now I do. And I wished I had something to tie the balloon down with. And I did. And I wished for a nightlight. And I found the fireflies. I wished I could find the cave. And I did. And I wished the star would get to the festival on time. And it did. How about you, citizens of Ponyville? What did you wish for? Snow! Uh-oh. <laughs> snow? Did somebody say snow? <gasps> and your wish came true too, Whimsy. You wished for friends, and now you have all of us. Yes, I do. What's the matter, Sweetie Belle? Didn't you get your wish? Not exactly. No. Oh, Sweetie Belle. It's okay. What did you wish for? I wished it would snow, but I wished it would snow pink. Sorry. No can do. <gasps> Look at Twinkle Wish. She's glowing. Pink snow. Did somebody wish for pink snow? I did. Alrighty then. As Twinkle Wish granted Sweetie Belle's wish, everyone rejoiced. Because despite everything, this had turned out to be the most wonderful Winter Wishes Festival ever. Love. 
Wishing it, wishing it. Let's.